Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Smite European Pro League kickoff LAN event for 2014. A $50,000 prize fund up for grabs between the four best teams of Europe right here in Cologne, Germany. Crazy Cloud9 helps. versus SK Gaming. Let's start off with Cloud9. Sure. Uh, take a look at their lineup and also talk about their season because they have had a terrific season. When you yeah. look at the results alone, three wins, five second places, a fourth and a blip, which was the quarterfinal that they had in, uh, in week eight, but we'll, we'll scrub past that. Uh, but they have been terrific all the way through the qualifiers, yeah, taking a look at SK Gaming and their season. Um, it's been very consistent. When I guess look we're looking at this in a very David and Goliath kind of way, because Cloud9 yeah. are the, you know, they are the Goliath, but, but SK can do this if they have a good day. Yeah. He is very good in the jungle still, like a lot of the pro players like Wolfie will be like, no, no, he's not good, he's useless now. However... Yeah. Obviously, we're just kicking off the first game here. Gonna be a best of three, and I'm actually really curious to see who's gonna come out ahead in this one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, overall, what people are seeing, what you're seeing in this game right now is everyone's playing very safe. Although Tear going to come in for Youngbake with the blink. Going to land it. Fearless Chain goes off and he's trying to be defensive, but there's a Lawbringer coming out as well. And Reels in the sky finds the Astral Barrage and brings him down. Way that was in. big. You know, half double. He has one of the most deaths, or what, the people with the most deaths, actually, out of the uh, qualifiers here. And Reels getting very aggressive yet again, trying to go for the 1v2 now. Tear's coming. Oh, is he coming for the backside? Oh, he's coming from the right side here. He might be able to get the blink over the wall, and this could be oh, very... He Reels goes, goes for it, and Young Bay is going to be taken down under the tower here, and half double might be trapped as well, adding to a statistic of most deaths. Well, we'll try and prevent it, but now he's used that pulse, you know. They're not going to have anything oh, to defend with. Forces yeah. the Valkyrie, Lawbringers down, and his Cataclysm, some touch in trouble. His around, and great Fearless. Reels picks him up as well with the auto, and yet again, another kill for SK, and now... Wait, this, is, this is too slow for you. No one's fighting. There's not enough aggression. These teams are both nervous. I can guarantee you that now. Ooh, Young Bay. Taking a lot of damage right there. This is just a 1v2 right now. Reels was look at the damage he's able to do here. I mean, just what 21 minutes in, he's he's oh, able to 1v1. Gonna get caught with the Valkyrie. Meanwhile, Reels is gonna go to the sky looking for the Astral Barrage. Yo, wait, finds two snipes, wow. gets the third one, and on the back of that Sun Touch goes down, but Sayo picks up first kill, but big. Orbit coming out, Lawbringer forced, and now the back away's off as the taunt comes in from Half Devil. Badger's gonna be the focus here, Cataclysm used from him. Meanwhile, NQ in the solo lane finds a kill onto Maniac, and now Zero still congressing onto Sayo as Reels is here again. And Reels, the, the, how fat he got earlier on is working out so well for you. They pick one. up three kills for SK. They're gonna pick up Gold Fury, most likely off the back of this as well. As Zero's just gonna well, zone out Half Devil, or maybe even pick up the kill 1v1. He's gonna try to do so, but I mean, if Half Devil sticks around, he he's, he's trying to delay it as long as possible. He's not gonna be able to contest. Meanwhile, though, NQ in the solo lane did get a kill against Maniac 1v1. But the thing about NQ in this lane right now, he's taken but down both towers. And if they leave him here alone against Maniac, Maniac's gonna be in trouble because now Sun Touch is here for starts. Oh gosh, the big baby comes out and Sun Touch picking up a kill here. Finally, Cloud9. Oh, I'm secured up these three kills. Captain trying to chase them down, but they're going to be able to back away. That's a really good ult. Is Reels getting caught now. out? But now Sun Touch going to go for the mid camps as well, contesting over here. Oh, Reels coming from the enough. backside. He's coming from the left. We'll see if he can get something. Meanwhile, Captain Twig gets caught out a little bit in middle lane, but he's zoning for the most part. There's a big cataclysm in from Budger, and the Tempest of Thorns and Gun not connected at all. Reels going great oh, damage in the sky. Lord. Crushing wave. SK are looking great. Captain Twig coming up huge. That is three kills. Maybe looking for number four here, but Young Bay will be able to get away after this one. 30 plus seconds on the majority of the team here out of Cloud9. They have all the time oh, in the world here. Giant? Really? Really? Is that, you think that's a smart choice? It's, 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 and you can see Sun Touch is also down. He only had Hong 2. And Q's going to play baller here to try and stay in this. Here comes the big baby. Can he defend? He's looking for He's pushing out Captain Twig. He's actually able to pick up a kill. Oh, Young Bay secures it. it. But SK does get the Fire Giant. He's still committing to the fight here. And he's going to have to back away unless he wants to get taken down. He's looking for Badge. And he's doing some good damage. Athena's finally. coming in with the ultimate, though. Will she be able to do anything else from that? And Q's going to get out in the nick of time. But Half Devil surrounded by the members. The fearless chain from Zeros. Going to keep him pinned in for the most part. He's <laughs> looking for Badger. He's He's only got all attacks though, and zeros with another kill on a killing spree once again. Oh, looks like they will continue pushing and at least force pressure onto this Phoenix. They have, you know, Cloud9 cut out just a little bit. They're not in the right position to defend it, and they could potentially burst it down here. Half Devil gonna be going in. Badger gets a nice little bit of a knock up here, and Half Devil committing to this one. He might be taken out before oh, he can do anything. Devil. Devil did go so far forward. Lawbringer, the backside from Zeros. Reels goes to the sky looking for the snipes. What's he gonna find? Well, he's focusing down Sun Touch. He's gonna drop two thanks to Maniac, and now NQ's gonna run go. away. His big baby's down, crushing wave, not gonna connect Serpent over the Back his Maniac, but not bring down the kill. SK looking great right now. They have three kills. They're looking for the Phoenix here. They have them forced back. You see Sayo able to escape, but actually, no, he's getting chased down here, and he looks, looks, looks like he will drop to Reels. Oh, Reels, Reels is, is so ridiculous. Strong. Six, zero, and seven right now, and this so is this strong. is game. And game one right now looks like he's going to be going to SK Gaming. If anyone thought SK were the underdogs, Jason, they're just showing they're really not <laughs> right now. Like, oh. Well, it's, we're being shown that the teams are right. They were saying that, yeah, you know, SK, they really they're, they're a team that's been pricing hard. They're a team that can cause a lot of upsets here. In
I, I, I do hope for a three game set. I mean, if you think about it's got to be a three. You know, the launch set. term SK plays way better than Cloud Nine did, and Cloud Nine they have to redeem themselves here. And yeah, they yeah. do. As you can see, SK Thor. And this time you do it this for the for the Yanus. Yeah, Yanus you do better than I do. I mean, All right, so SK gonna pick it up again, and you know the Aphrodite uh, banners are talking about. Maynard, ten wins, two losses. Chunga's not seen that much. I mean, mm -hmm. they'll be DM Brandon I'm probably watching right now. He'll be like, "Wow, they picked up Chunga." He'll be excited for this because Maynard's probably one of the only ones in EU that's really played her at all. Really. Is he excited or is he raging that she's picked? No, he's. he's I always excited. see him raging when I when no, I no, He'll be stream. raging with excitement. He's, yeah. like, he's a small man, but he's got a lot sure. of energy in him. Oh, he does. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Obviously, he's a great jungler overall, and Suntouch is a fantastic jungler, and he knows how to <laughs> play it. But my question definitely right now is: Is it going to be Suntouch in the jungle on Mercury? Is it going to be solo lane? I'm not too sure. Well, but either way, we're into game two here. SK gaming up 1-0 right now against Cloud9. Again, the unexpected game one winners, at least again in my yeah, part. In that lane, is he's had to use the potion that he had at the start of the game. And with that being on cooldown, if they continue the focus, which oh, it looks like Sunsuch might be doing it, he's we'll looking, see. He's looking coming from the back, and NQ will go in as well. They're going to focus on zeros, and looks like he'll take quite a bit of damage. He actually could be, he dodged, or could be taken off of this one. Yeah, Archie is getting involved a little bit. Zero's having to juke out. He's in real trouble. Oh, he gets taken down. So first blood going over to Sun Touch here. Great job by them. And you yes. know, when he gets first, or, you know, first blooded kind of thing, he has a little bit of a tough time. But when he, if he gets first blood though, if he actually gets it himself, it can he's obviously be strong. completely different. But right now, he might get caught out here, and he's actually going to be taken out. He's all by himself. He, he overextended. Is. I mean, he wasn't overextended. I mean, Sayo was in the area as well. That's great, but mid camp's being contested again. Left ones did go to Cloud Nine, but what about right? Uh, Twig has the red buff though. This could be very dangerous. The blink comes over oh, the wall, and Half Devil looking for something. But again, the ultimate catch him off guard. It forced him back. And now SK are on the charge. You're looking for a couple of kills. And that will oh, be actually no. half devil. Might escape this one. Well, he might do, but Zeros is chasing onto half devil. And Youngbae gonna come in trying to defend him for the most part. Kind of keep him alive. Protection keeps him up for now. Sun Touch with a great sonic boom. Defensively and offensively used at the same time. Maniac picks up half devil, though eventually after the passive wears off. Like killing that big engagement we saw around the middle camps earlier on. And they pull Sonic Boom left hand side. Lands from Sun Touch and Reels in trouble. Has to roll away across the sky. Guy is used. Oh, Young base is going to hover because Reels is waiting. Reels is in trouble. And let's see if the shield comes in in time. He's going to drop back down. The shield will come in, but it's not enough. He gets taken out by Sun Touch. Oh, and now, oh, that's going to cost him his life. It is. But meanwhile, we're going to see him come around. Captain Twig going to be a little bit late, but he there's no ward. There's right no now. ward here right now. They've not got an idea of ways, and even Half Devils here as well. So they're looking to watch. Oh, they're going to go for a cheeky goal here. Oh, they're, they're pulling it out though. I think they're just seen by the ward. Well, we'll have to see. That ward oh, it might give a bit of vision. We'll sign up. We're not going to find it, though. That was a great call from Cloud9 overall. But then on the other side of that, I mean, if, if NQ can land a big silence in a team fight, that AoE silence he's got in his ultimate, cause a big issue. And Reel's been forced to the sky again. And Badger oh, surrounded. Trapped. Cloud9 trying to do the best. Here. Young Bank's going aggressive on Badger. I pick up a good use, but Zeros is here. And manages to find Sun Touch. And now Half Devil's in his passive. And Young Bay already used his ult to go. No, he's still got his ult available, but he's surrounded by members. Is he going to be able to get out? The tornado's going to tick away. He's going to die in the air. Oh. You know, Mania, again, he is having a really tough time. NQ wow. is really proven Zero's to be a nuisance coming. for him. Zeroes is coming on the back, so this could be trouble. Oh, let's see who can pick up the kill here, and Zeroes is looking for the tether. Walks in moon. NQ very low on HP. He's actually going to get dropped. He's getting CC to like hell. Ulti. And Mania takes him, uh, takes him out, just like you're pointing out. NQ ultimate on a lot longer cooldown than Maniacs. And now Suntouch has got to defend against two members here. If they both stay, while he tries to push into the wave, Suntouch needs to watch the position here. Uses the hog, gonna get aggressed on, has to use the special delivery to get away, but the Tev is connected, and Zeros and Maniac bring him down as well. I was worried when he went in there. Honestly, you know, they're both full health. Back right now with Gold Fury. Finally, SK gonna have their first chance to pick it up here, and they're zoning them out. Good tornadoes coming in, obviously from Captain Twig. Keep on the other side. The, oh, the blink, blink comes in. Devil. Is he gonna be able to find anything? We've got the Mez off. Groggy Strike gonna land as well, and here comes NQ dunking down. Gold Fury's being reset, and now you can see on the backside. Spirit Temp is not going to connect. Sao jukes that one nicely as the members of C9 are rotating around. Youngbei's out of position here. Oh, Reels looks like he was going to be able to escape this one as well. Youngbei trying to chase him down. Reels with the dodge and the juke. Zeros picks up Sun Touch oh, and they're looking going. for more. They're still looking for more. Sao going aggressive, looking for Maniac on the backside of the wing. Goes to land him, but the shield was big from Badger. Keeps him alive and Reels secures that kill. Meanwhile, on the backside of that, there's still a fight going to Zeros oh, fighting two members. NQ's in a world of hurt. Tether connects for the stun and he finds that one. And not just that, they also pick up the full Deer side because the rest of the members are able to go over and clean up Half Devil. Gold Fury's online, but it doesn't look like Who cares about Gold Fury? Gold Fury? <laughs> we have a Deer side coming in. Right Fantastic, now. yeah. And, and, and that fight, uh, last time I'm trying to think, you just, they pulled him in so many different directions, SK did. Right. Pick up those two towers, it opened the map drastically, and the rotations came out. And once you've lost those first few towers, hard faced all the time, he knows what <laughs> needs to go on. And he can oh. deal with it. But Half Devil, looking for aggression, forces out the shield from Badger, but he did waste a blink for that one now. And now this tower is going to have to go down again. And this is a bit of a repeat. The blink goes in from Badger, the big cataclysm on the backside, but he's zoned out for the most part. And Zero's trying to help him. Meanwhile, and Q don't get down. 
Oh, it's a one. It's a two v one on the backside here for SK versus Cloud9. It looks like oh, Maniac will pick up so the kill on NQ. They are, but the thing is, SK is still coming ahead. They have Fire Giant. They have the advantage here, and Zeros oh, is looking Zeros. for Sun Touch. It doesn't matter either way. They pick up two kills, and they're gonna push onto. A, oh, they're pushing past the tower. They're yeah, looking they're for still, half double. They're still trying to dive into half double. <laughs> not gonna find it though. And NQ can't do the damage because the heals from Maniac making paying dividends from half double has to blink in, use the mess to try and slow them down, but only for a second. Phoenix drops in left hand lane. Yeah, right. and now you have to look at who's gonna win out. Obviously, you have a lot of sustain. Oh, we see actually. A half double going in yet again, getting the uh, CC he's in. He's trying but... to just tank up, and now he's going to use an uppercut to delay it a little bit. They're going to knock him back for the most part, but big focus is Reels. He's just taking the Phoenix. He wasn't ignore. He was ignoring trying to take out Half Devil there, who did drop down in that engagement. But Cloud Nine have to defend this. They have to. Well, they try to defend the second one here, but we see Badger going deep yet again. A nice stun comes oh, on to Reels. Good. And... <sighs> well, actually, the ultimate not going to connect out of Al Kong right there, but Katsuing will be taking on oh, NQ. Picks go. up that one. Maniac Cloud turns nine. it around on a Sun Touch, though, and they're looking for more Zeros. It's just fighting that they have the uh, the Phoenix down. They're chasing right under the Titan here, looking for NQ. Oh, they will zeros. get the kill. And that is a three for two exchange here. I don't think they can finish the Sio's game just gonna... yet, but Sio is going to be taken down. He is as well, and that's all three Phoenixes down now. And wow. what are they going to do? Are they going to look to end here? Well, the Fire Nation from all three lanes as Zero starts trying to chop them down the tethers on Youngbei, and Youngbei's doing a lot less damage now as the Titan swings away in zeros. He doesn't care. He's got gap shields available to him. Are they going for the Titan or are they going for the kill stream? It looks like they're trying to focus a little bit of both here. The Titan down about half HP. Oh, they're looking he's gonna at finish up here. They have so much sustain, it doesn't really the matter. Sustain is ridiculous. Here comes the fire minions as well. They're gonna start shooting away onto the Titan. The Titan is falling, and it's SK Gaming gonna take out Cloud9. That was quick. I did not expect a 2 0. Not at all. Are you, are you still a little bit surprised? I mean, I know you guys, you know, you, you're confident you want to win, you know you can win, but are you a little bit surprised 2 0? No, no. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Good luck in the final. Uh, SK Gaming, of course, will be in the final. They don't know who they're going to meet just yet. Our next semi-final is coming up very shortly. But Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to matchup number two today out of the quarterfinals. It is going to be Coast Blue going up against Team Solo Mid Hindu Man. And this one, as they were saying, Paul and Jason, it's a big game for Coast. I think if it they really take is. the first game and get that momentum going, they have a much better chance I of taking totally out TSM. Agree. However, we're looking at this part in you know terms of this is a lot environment. Mm -hmm. TSM is experienced. All their players have been to land before. They have. However, Coast, this is a new ball game for them. You know? Traditionally, this is going to be Hubble solo lane for Team Solo mid, but I wouldn't be a tremendously surprised to see him in the jungle here. I mean, it looks like he's going. And Trix Tank is here. It's going to be a 3v3 fight at these right side camps. Cube Friends actually going to knock up the ultimate. They're going to go ahead and throw another Smacks one on a variety as well. Coming through in a lot of trouble, but that ultimate from Bobat going to disrupt on the Hunbots. Trix Tank in some trouble, trying to make his way out of this fight. Needs to re engage for his team. Big time game on the oh line. Throw it to everybody taking damage. Two down right away for Coast, and TSM will take the early advantage. We keep saying this over and over again, but TSM do not lose leads easy. Mm -hmm. And they try and snowball it if they can. Look what Trix is doing. Blink, Cataclysm, looking for it for tomorrow. Oh, and there's the unravel coming out from Smek, and the zone control from Trix brings him down with Smek picking up that kill. Just like that, and now Game Hunter putting a lot of pressure on a variety as well. And you just see how much damage. Look at that oh, damage. No. Water hands. He's One gonna more go spout's gonna do it. He's gonna dive this tower. Easy peasy kill for Game Hunter there. Overextending a bit is Variety, and he gets punished for it. And that's one thing that happens when you die as Jean Quay, you lose those stacks. And that's now right. Bobat's coming in. He's gonna need a smack ultimate as well. Ultimate coming through Game Hunter to avoid that oh, Hellbot's ultimate. No. And it's yet another easy kill. And that is actually two massive kills. Solo really and jungler down. Really Off of that kill, a lot of pressure coming out on this right side tower from Cuba Fred. Oh, Game Hunter rotating back in. They're gonna dive this easy. Oh, easy. Variety in a lot of trouble here. Big spout going off as well. The signs on good immunity used for ages. Now the ultimate comes up, can he juke around? That's what he's trying to do, but not going to juke Game Hunter. Finally, Bobas is here, no ultimate available. Athena coming in, trying to turn this one around. Bobas finds one, now Athena turns up. Game Hunter uses the beads preemptively from the taunt, but he's still going to probably go down here because those minions are raining oh, archer damage oh. completely. There it is. Picks it up. <laughs> so uh, on the board now is Coast with a couple of kills. Eleven. This golf here being zoned out nicely from Cuba Fred here. Gonna try and silence tomorrow. Tomorrow's not gonna get there in time overall. But now that's a free golf here. We're going over to TSM. Well, and the, you know, you talk about the front line of Coast and with variety being down. They were looking really for Athena and Jean Quy to be that front line. Mm -hmm. As we see Jean going aggressive, they're going for a three-man rotation on game on her. But Crushing Wave comes out, and there's the wet paper taunt. Gonna connect, and here comes a nice Will Weaver coming in from Smack for the most part. But Game Hunter is in trouble as a fair. No evil's down. But that was three ultimates used. That's a very important kill for Coast, but they got quite low doing it. But they, they really need to be able to put some pressure on this tower. Bobak gonna look like he's gonna rotate. Oh, Shaggy, Shaggy gets a solo. Finds a kill on the Trick Sink in the solo. 1v2. Two what v a player. Are you serious? Uh, variety no. in quite a bit of trouble there, getting healed up a bit by that minion, but. 
Looking at Carino here, you know, he's working on finishing the Book of Top, and then we'll go into his Rod at the Hootie. Oh, Taking smack. on the left side, smacking some trouble here. Gonna he's try to disengage, but there's just way too much chain slowing going on. He's doing a nice job juking for the minions there, but not enough. I, I, but I do want to point out these mid camps do get contested here. That there's still a big timing to hit for Coast. You know, Ninja Bobat definitely a character, or definitely a player that comes online quite well. Very, very comfortable with that Hun bot. Hold that thought, though. The gold fear is gonna get reset now. And Cuba Fred going in deep. Job. And now we're gonna see in the backside. The Finnoevil zoning out two members, but Cuba so tanky. They can't bring him down. Now Princess is in very deep here as Lobster has to retreat back. Getting sniped up by Shaggy. All three connected on him. The third one does connect to bring him down. Those snipes were amazing from Shaggy. Shaggy. Now they'll give the game on her. Game on her out of mana here. No more carp to get out of this one. And he's in a lot Shield. of trouble. The ultimate's gonna come through from Neath, but not gonna help out his teammate at this point. They want this gold fear and they want it bad, and they can have it. Well, maybe. Be Blood Trick Tank and Cubo still online. Smek coming back in. And you know what? Trick Tank Life Asina, the rollout is on. He's got the immunities. He can be able to get in range. It's not low enough, but tomorrow Carino. gets Cubo. And now Trick Tank can only walk away because they picked him up. Yeah, there's there's no one left to disrupt for the Geb to get in there. And it's going to be an easy Gold Fury secure on the back of that. Here comes the five man from TSM. Zoning up a right in the Coast right side so of Trick Tank. Rotations coming in. Coast is a bit too late. I don't think they're going to make it in time so for this tower. And Tomato needs to be in a bit of caution here as you make it turn around. It's a four man taunt, but there is no follow up. Princess Tomato caught out now in between them all. Smek actually in the front lines here, getting dumped in by Shaggy oh. Shank, doing so much damage in this fight. Is the wrong Game Hunter gonna get bursted down as well? Dead to rights, and what a turnaround in the fight by Coast. What a turnaround. Shaggy Shank turned up, put the damage on. And decides to see how big is the Astral Barrage. One hit, two hit. Gonna use the Aegis and a shield from Trix. But Trix picked up variety in the back. Says a dunk from Cubo, silences them, but he's gonna drop two. Oh, Cuba Fred now going to go down as well. Only one member remaining of Team Solo mid. It is Trix Tank. And in the end, Smek was the first one to fall. And then, you know, Gold Fury down, towering response. Coast are in control. Is this going to be the tournament of upsets here? Oh. Will we have a Coast versus SK it's final? EU. He it's basically is going to have to build Chin Size because he's behind. No, the Executioner true. already finished. Quite difficult. Coast going to go for a sneak here on to the Fire Giant. Four men in there. Bobat doing a lot of damage. Wow. Game Hunter sniffed it out, but he's just going to be too late. Variety going to zone him out. He's going to take a lot of damage for trouble. He just pops the ultimate right away. And Game Hunter trying to make his way in, but he's just too late. Gonna he's going to find Grigno on the back line. Bobat going to continue in here. And Game Hunter going to take a spill. He does get a kill for his trouble, which is worth quite a bit taking that uh, buff off of the Isis there. But... Meanwhile, Smek very far behind in this situation. Going to use the Unravel, but going to get shot by the whole team. Oh. Great talk. Massive damage. Forced the beads in the back. Flip. On the snipes. One, two. Easy peasy. Shaggy Shank. Takes it down and, and you've got to get through variety and that fear no evil. That's impossible. And if you stack up too much, he's just going to abuse you well, with the go. piercing shot. Variety is going to age us out the ultimate from Trick Tank, who has gotten to the back line. Shaggy Shank taking a lot of damage. He's not going to be able to be comfortable with his positioning here. Cuba Fred now going to zone him out as well, but I'm not sure if he can deal with the crit stick. No, Cuba Fred in a lot so. of trouble. Down he goes to the double crits. Game Hunter also quite low. Bobat into the back line. Aegis is used. It's going to stall for a bit, but it's not going to be enough. Double kill for Ninja Bobat. Can he disengage? He's going to blink right TSM. back in. He is going to go down TSM holes as well. And then look for the fight but they have stacked up quite a bit of pen now with those double obsidian shards. I'm surprised we didn't see TSM do that goal for you. I guess they just didn't have the timer on it at oh, all. So they will yeah. not have the Geb initiation available for this That's next big. fight. And that could be huge as they won't be able to peel. Shaggy coming into the back lines very effectively. Now dashing back into Tomato finds a two-man taunt. Game Hunter going to go ahead and beads that out. But here comes Shaggy Shank. Not sure if they spotted it's him out. Do. Damage We're coming through. Him. Will he find the crits? Still hasn't hit yet. Aegis. Aegis used by the Game big Hunter. Aegis. Continuing out. That Isis open healing them oh, up. The Game Hunter in a lot of trouble. The roll is the just roll. too real. Shaggy Shank not taking any damage now. In a lot of trouble is TSM Smackback fibbing out. QF Fred trying to peel for his Hunter. Doing what damage he can can is Smek. Trick's coming back in, but it's a 5v3 right now. Oh, Cuba Fred dashing the back out. Variety can't find the damage just yet. Overhead smash, still not enough. Cuba Fred up in the air. Shaggy Shank leads up Smek under tower. That is a four for nothing trade. A fire giant going the way of Coast. And now I think it's safe to say this game looks in the bag. It's Shaggy Shank, I said, watch his position. But oh, Trick's tricks. do something. Oh, it is Trick's tricks. tank. Nope. He's going in. He blinks. Is he going to find it? They all disengage it. Carino goes down to the fire giant and he's still up. It's Trick. still going to. Oh, the fire it. giant. They steal it away. Trix Tank once again with the major steals coming out. That's kept him in the game for now, but it was a deer side and allowed Game Hunter to clean up, but that's not happening, you know, because if Game Hunter is down first, they can't get that one off. Not yet. Coast now making their way in, but it's a great initiation for Trix Tank fighting three with the ultimate there. Riding it is the oh, ultimate the from the. Oh my goodness, look at this fight breaking out. Game Hunter's it's gonna so find crazy. a wonderful Aegis here, but the ultimate from Athena crashing in as well. Gonna prevent a lot of damage. Shaggy Shank does clean up there in the back lines. Oh, Radio, with a tremendous ball. amount of damage onto Lobster. Coast continuing to win this Shaggy's fight. Cuba Fred in a lot of trouble. Variety will fall, however. Can they turn this around? Health. Smek falling out. Shaggy going to take down Trick Stake with the help of Ninja Bobat there. Smek not gonna get stunned out there, but so his much positioning. Damage. Oh. 
just Dude. explodes the Bobat. And this, my friends, will yield a Phoenix for Coast. There's good enough members up, but who can tank it? That's the question. They're kind of low. Maybe they can't end here. I don't know. Take down this could be a mistake. Giant in time, they are going all in here, friends. Will they get the damage? Is there risky. is the first beer ball coming through. It looks like it's going to be enough. So much damage from Shaggy Shank at this point. Steroiding his attack speed as well. Oh. The damage coming through. Someone's no Titan's Bane. No care. Down goes Princess Tomato. Raw Bolt's been rushing through. And there it is. Coast Gaming. Game number one versus Team Are you SM. serious? Is this going to happen every game that the underdogs are going to come out on top? Coast Gaming, the quiet team. The, the one team that has not been to a LAN whatsoever from any of them. Just coming out playing fantastic. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to game number two in the best of three series between Team Solo Mid and Coast Gaming Blue. TSM down one game to nothing. Indeed, but the final picks coming through from Coast Mercury and Ice is going to round out the lineup. Team Solo Mid going to lock in the big baby Vamana to be their solo laner. It appeals to so will be the Jonquay in the mid lane. Last time I remember seeing him in a lot of... Yeah, what did he do with the Vamana? I don't know. He's he, like okay, right? He got, he got a couple of kills. Yeah, a couple of kills. Yeah, I think like five or so. Only five. Yeah, in game, a row. game Hunter. I would say he's pretty good at this gun. But let's go ahead and introduce your teams, ladies and gentlemen. It is game number two in a best of three series. Team Coast up one game to nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to looking at those stats, though, like, Smek has been in a lot more games in the tournament as well. So, oh, no, there's a lot of damage onto Variety on that hub bar. He's in a lot of trouble. He's actually away from his tower right now. Kuva's trying to look to bring him down, but Kuva's going to get caught wow. by Boba overextending, and the turnaround does not go in favor of TSM this time. Also, I think they're looking for Carino in middle Freya. lane as much as possible, but Fred's got a great angle, but Bobat's here as well. The Banish is going to come out, but oh, oh the special delivery just connected. They put him into the wall. Kuva Fred in a lot of trouble now, trying to disengage, and it looks like he's going to be okay. Throwing out a hand on the but there's an ultimate. It's going to miss. Auto attacks coming through. Will it be enough to Good find stun. the Kuba Cuba Fred? Stun coming out on the lobster. No peel. No cry. Bobat. Oh going to make it out God. of there. Coax played that so well. He had such reliability and such control for the fact that he expected Ninja Bobat to do that. Oh, he paid off for the He's got a great angle on Bobat here. Though he's going to dash away with special delivery back towards oh, the enemy base. No. However, Cuba Fred not in position. And with the speed buff, it's going to be enough. I think Bobat's going to be just fine. No, Neath Ultimate ripping through. He's going to have to eat this. Good is it enough? Smack. It is indeed. Smek finds the kill. If you can keep finding these assists with oh, those Athena will Athena channeling it onto the right side lane. Game Hunter could be in some trouble. Ultimate coming through wave. from Variety. Do they have the damage? One more water hands. He needs a water spout, but he is tanking the tower. He has to disengage. Can he find the damage? Yes, he can. Indeed, Variety likely not to fall here. Very, very close. However, they do get an important kill onto that Vamana. GPM also in Fred's favor, but this has been Ninja Bobat's game. And let's hold that thought as Coast is going to go ahead and initiate the Gold Fury. Well, it is Trick Sank once again. And we stole a Fire Giant earlier on. Smeg's going to use that, but he's not going to be able to find a kill as Trick Sank gets hit by the taunt from tomorrow. And that's going to go over to Team Coast. Smeg's in a bit of trouble, has to use the Crushing Wave as Big Baby's out. But now Big Baby going to be on cooldown. No mana on Game Hunter either. Is he going to be able to stay alive? He is for now, but he forced out two ultimates mid lane, again. Mid lane, just off the left side of the mid lane. Oh. Big engagement coming out. Cuba Fred going to pick up a kill on the Ninja Bobat. They're going to fight Carino big as picks. well. Very, very big picks. Well. Now they're going to four-man this down, and Smek is going to get even larger gold advantage off of this. They're going to uh, banish out Princess Tomato. They're going to body block the dash, and they're going to take the left side mid camps off this as well. TSM is just taking control of this game. Freya, as well as the fact that you're going to have Smek trying to root you in place on top of the fact Trick Sank's Cataclysm, if it connects, he's going to have an issue with not having beads available. Mid lane, we do have a bit of engagement as the right side tier one does go down. Ninja Bobat in some trouble as Lobster's oh, ultimate being forced. channeled out. It's going to force a disengage, but Lobster taking too Shaggy. much damage. Or Shaggy Shanks rotation is good. Finding the kill. Trick's tank quite low as well, but Freya's got an angle. Going to take two of the skies here. One, two, three, and a Prince Mano. He jukes oh, the last one. Prince Mano going to survive. No, Game one more Hunter. attack coming through. Shaggy Shank in a bit of trouble. Game Hunter's going deep. This could be a big turn for oh, TSM. Variety goodness. getting rooted out. Ultimate coming through. Not going to be enough to save his life. It is indeed Carino there as well, but this should be a tower in response for TSM. Yeah, Coast definitely a team comp that needs to be ahead at this stage in the game. They can start to... Oh, Shaggy. Oh, he's in a lot Hold of trouble. Here. Head, There's a catapult coming out, but it's going to be uh, countered by that Caledonian boar, which is going to find the stun on the Cuba Fred as well as oh, he rotates big. in. And once again, the doing such blinks work. in, though, and he's going to go for the big kill onto Shaggy. Shaggy's getting forced to the ultimate on Athena. Still going to drop down to Smeg, which was with the World Weaver that picked him up. Even Cuvo used the Valkyrie there. Kind of solid late stages of the mid game, and they just can't yeah. aggress into that front line. They're going to have a lot of trouble even making Good it in the late game. Nice banish coming in. Carino taking a lot of damage for his trouble. Cuba oh, Fred going to clean him up. Lord. Easy peasy. And there's the strength of Freya. Now it's going to be Ninja Bobek getting turned on. And he's going to get rooted out brilliantly there by Smek. Smek. Easy kills for Team Solo Mid. And that's going to be a Gold Fury. Giant, Eight to four. Gold Fury's going to drop down here. And the Gold was 4,000. He's now going to jump up again to 5,800. This is the problem because Tomorrow wants to go back to base to get health. If he goes back to base, they can initiate the Fire Giant. Yeah. Has he got his ultimate available? Will that's the question. He does. Ooh! But you're going to find the Will Weaver. Now we've been dead. That's a Fire Giant. Like, what can they do here? Yeah, they can't stop it. No more Hog 3 available. Possible. Look, they're not even really going to contest nah, here. Nah, they yeah. can't. 
Yeah, they can't. Down it goes. TSM, Fire Giant, 22 minutes, oh, 40 seconds in. Oh, the crushing Ooh. wave hits from Cuba Frank. Ghost in the Sky for right using the ages. But can he get himself out? Combat Blink pays off for now. But that ghost hits him. It chased him all the way down. And Lobster finds a kill on him, as well as Carino. And now Shaggy Shank in a world of hurt, surrounded by the whole team of TSM with the Fire Giant. Up first game hunter going to get CC there. The Phoenix actually not falling that fast. Not long time. very much penetration at all. In fact, no penetration available. Does it this look is like taking a long time? TSM two Phoenixes granted. Uh, with a maybe a, a team that has stronger hunter, they could have taken all three. But blink crushing wave. I expect to see it from Variety looking for an opportunity to take out the back line. But Triggs is the one to blink in. Smart stuff. He's going to go cackling him onto Carino, force the beads off him, and now they know beads is down. You can see Lobster going in deep on the back line with his, and he's going to find a kill onto one. He's going to go down for it, but meanwhile okay, Phoenix game dropped and tomorrow's gonna die with it yeah good good luck stomping the game hunter now with his fatalis actually he's taking quite a bit of damage with cuba fred just oh, blowing smack. through there's your dia side and that my friends is a guaranteed win for team solo mid they fight back tank game number two away from coast and we're gonna be going to our that first game three of the day welcome to the pre-game for game number three between team solo mid and coast blue winner of this goes on to take on sk gaming in the finals for the lion's share of the fifty thousand dollars and there's the osiris being looked at oh keep i'll take that it's not it's, it's definite I'll yeah i would say 100 percent we're gonna see that osiris locked in. and now solo mid taking a gander at Bacchus, we haven't seen him Rocks. yet with the Artemis crits coming on the back, but of course the hyper carry potential of Osiris. Final pick for Team Coast is going to be their mid lane, Ogni. Hey, Team Coast Blue looks so strong in the first game, but did drop the second game. Can they yep. find their way to the finals versus SK and surprising everybody? Wait, back in the day, we see lots and lots of Spear of Magis is picked up on this character because, oh, hold yeah. that thought, as Thor's gone up into the air here. Where is he looking? It's going to be the right side lane. Variety in some trouble, but that stun's actually going to oh, miss. But here folks. comes all the damage coming out. He's going to use the beads as well. A snipe comes through on a game hunter. Is it going to be enough? Ultimate coming through as well. Oh, wow. But Variety's alive! In. Variety's still alive. Bobat's gonna be here as well. He has a great angle on a Game Hunter who's overstayed his welcome. Can he go deep enough? Doesn't matter. Down goes the Game Hunter and a double kill in the rotation for Princess Tomato. Any initiation. Shaggy Shank and Smack continue to farm advantage. Currently in favor of Shaggy Shank. Mid lane, you're gonna see Bacchus go in. Belcher the gods use. He tries to use the stun. Neef will win. Gonna connect as well. And Lobster secures that kill, but Nightmite Ninja Bobat's in there with the Tether on two members. Athena's dunking down as well. Lobster's in trouble. Gonna go down, but can they find more? They're going to go ahead and get the dash in onto Cuba Fred. They'll find the taunt as well, trying to peel his trick tank. Oh, like be available, but the snipe comes through from Variety. Great play. Trick tank. Now, we'll turn around on the Ninja Bobat. Now, trying to disengage himself, but he's in some trouble. Artemis oh, the pouring ball. in the damage that with ball. the four and trap combination. Variety puts out quite a bit of damage on the Smek as well. And this could very well be a Gold Fury for Team oh, Coast. Yeah. All they can really hope to do here is, to, uh, is trying to reset it, but can they even get there in time? I don't think they will. Too much damage from the Artemis. The crit's coming through onto the Gold Fury. Down it will go. Coast now with a commanding early game lead. I mean, looking at Fred, only one assist to his name. Ultimate been available now for about five minutes. He hasn't been able to find much more from it. Mid lane, oh. Bacchus has a nice angle here on a Carino. Will Will coming through as well. There's oh, the knock up. Oh. damage it did will indeed. Trick Tank with two kills now for his team. Two thirds of their overall kills. And he actually uses abilities really well there. It looked like a very easy pick up. Oh, Game Hunter in a bad position here. Bobat and Variety behind him. What is he going to be able to do? Oh, clear the path. Juked. Not yet available. He does juke the ultimate. Uh, now going to use clear the path. Will the snipe come out from Variety? Flail. Doesn't matter because over the top is a flare. Well, and on top of that, he's still going to have to deal with an Osiris. And Osiris, you know, when that tether connects on you, they're oh. looking for Oh, oh, though. Lobster's in deep. trouble. Lobster Athena's going to come trouble. in as well. And there's a big taunt to Lobster, surrounded by the members of the fail. Gets dropped. The snipe going to miss. Lobster's still alive for now, but not for long, I don't Carino. think. Ultimate coming through. Doesn't matter. Bobat able to secure the kill. And Snowball Osiris could be carrying Coast to victory here. Three. Oh, mid camp's going to be up shortly here. We'll probably see some engagement here. I would expect range done from Agni just so potent. Princess Tomato there as well, able to dash in. Bobat's come around, and now comes the initiation. Only going to find one, however, is Princess Tomato. Now making his way to the back ones. His trick tank as well, trying to zone out the team. Oh. Lobster caught into an awkward position there by that, that wall, wall however, and he's in a lot of trouble. Variety's going to be trying to chase Juvo. him down. We'll see if that can be secured. Trick tank trying to look for anything right now. Here comes the ultimate coming through from Smek, but Smek's positioning. Not going to be able to put a lot of damage out into this fight. One kill apiece for either team. Bobat going to find Lobster oh, as well. Bobat's Double big. kill for Bobat's Bobat. so big. Princess Tomato in a bit of trouble. Game Hunter should be able to chase this one down as well. Easy peasy there. It does go down. Bobat going to get pinned no down. Fight by the Neath. No one can fight him right now. You're absolutely right. They're forced to disengage here. And now Game Hunter's the one that's going to close in on. If they find the chain slows, you can be in some trouble. Forced to pop the ultimate to get out of that. Trickstack now the one that's going to stun out Bobat, but the tether's still active. Leaping away to break it, but the slow coming through. And that's going to be the disengage call from Coast, but not before they come out ahead in that fight. I, 
still very dangerous for Coast. TSM oh, yeah. has great potential here as well. Trick's Tank going to take some damage for his trouble on Chivo's the left side up. lane. Not sure if it's going to be enough, though. Thor taking to He's the air up. now. Fred going up. Who are Shaggy's they going to go Shaggy's in a lot of trouble, but the boar is there. And that's going to be enough. Will oh, be on top of it. Cuba oh, Fred my goes God. Down. They turn it round and Cubo gets dropped. Are you serious? That all came down to the, to the boar. The boar being dropped to the right side. Mid lane, though. Lobster takes a lot of damage here. Bobat not going to be able to get away from him. Is Lobster and down will go oh, the Lobster. No, now going take... back in his TSM. They'll be able Tricks. to pick up Shaggy Shank with that trade. Tricks hitting quite low, but it should be enough to get him out of there. Variety does not have the sign available. Carino. Use it in the mid Carino. lane. But here's Carreno. Carreno's going to stop that. There's a stun. Oh, There's Tricks. a kill on the Tricks. Lazy, but... This should be an easy gold no, here as well for them. It, is, it could be. Yeah, they should rotate there. Don't chase onto Smeg there. Unfortunately, Carreno did a great job overall of actually stopping that back because he didn't have enough of a decision to make. So now Carreno trying to zone out game on here as the gold here is getting lower. Damage raining down and now Ninja Boba just wants to go ham. He's going aggressive. He's just trying to zone them out himself. He's quite happy to do that. On this front line, Osiris is 6-1-2 and two right now. He's big. Now you're going to see the rotation around to this tier 2. Trex Tank and Lobster in pursuit to help oh, defend how him. Get out of this, well, he knows they're coming in now. We'll see what happens. That's right. He does have uh, the team out here, but Lobster's going to get caught out with a stun. Ultimate coming through on a Ninja Boba. They're going to try to burst him Boba's down before the, the stun comes out. But the tethers are still there. He's going to stun out too. Here comes the ultimate as well from the Bacchus oh, Variety down. That's a big kill in this fight. Can Coast now disengage his TSM is definitely Cubo's going to in their favor. Cubo up, but he's going to miss once again, but it will secure the kill on the Carino. This on turnaround the by line. TSM. Big time turnaround. Can they take Fire Giant on the back of this is the real question. While Artemis Split pushes the left That's side fine. lane. That's One fine. of you recall and deal with it. Meanwhile, everybody else needs to push Fire Giant. Game Hunter's oh, going to try and zone out Ninja Boba. Is he going to be able to do this when he's fighting away against the Cyrus? The Tether connects the stun, and tomorrow steals the kill. Just making sure he goes down, I guess, more than anything else. And now you're going to see TSM have oh, to back no. away. And they give up the tier two for free. They lose their Vamana. They finally win a fight, but they can't take any objectives, and they actually come out behind after that team fight. I don't think the decision from Game Hunter to stand there and fight Osiris was a good one. He should have just opened oh, the boss fight. Now, now Lobster's going to go down as well. Shaggy rotates over. Oh. That, that's, small, that's such a small mistake that just cost them so much, so, you know? Yeah. Keep an eye on Coast in this next fight, because if they go all guns blazing again, if TSM do the same thing, oh, I doubt they'll make the same out. mistake. Princess Tomato actually, the bubble not popped by that Bacchus, but not in time. Lobster's going to blink in. That's his combat blink, however, and he's going to get stunned out immediately. No beats available to get rid of that, and he can't heal as well as that ultimate has hit from Ninja Bobat coming crashing back in at any point now is the Thor backlines game hunter oh, going Trix nuts killing Shaggy Shank Bobat does take out Trick Tank so no tank available Bobat for that three. three Bobat just going ham Smek's gonna fall as well to him game hunter finally rotating in but is it gonna be enough doesn't look like it will be forced to clear the path out as game hunter Ninja Bobat still alive can they find Cuba Fred as well they're gonna not get the stun but they will get the taunt oh most likely goodness. in just a moment Cuba Fred can he find his way out slowed once again oh, by Ninja castle. Bobat dashing through now it looks like he's gonna be a okay at least for now trying to rotate back in or lobster Game Hunter Snipe coming through, barely missing there. And oh, Coast is going deep for Fred. They still want Fred. I don't know why they're chasing onto him. They get him, though, but the, not the respawn time in 50 seconds. But if they're going to go for this fire giant here, it's going to be a big play oh, from Tricks. Tricks again. do it again. That's the question. We, we used to seeing him. Bacchus is uh, one of the best uh, at stealing. Guan Yu, maybe the number one that you oh, expect with Tricks just though. gets dumped on. He's getting full dumped on lobsters there to support him. He's actually going to live over the wall thanks to a great belly flop. Variety is going to go aggressive, but for the most part, he delayed. Now smacking Game Hunter on the front line, having to deal with Boba, who's got the defender of Olympus, and they're going deep for Tricks Tank. They're going to find him. And now Ninja Boba's going to be able to collapse oh, back to his team. But here comes TSM. Friend, does it? Isn't enough damage for Game Hunter with that spread damage on his ultimate? Doesn't look like it's going to be enough just yet as the back lines continue to fall now Cuba Fred down Game Hunter and Smack the only two alive and now it's Coast piling in oh on a Game Hunter will it be enough they stun him out and clear the bath down he falls double kill for Shaggy Shake only Smack available this should be Fire Giant and possibly the win for well, Coast Variety unfortunately does have to go back for them so they won't have that heal available but they will be able to easily take this tier 2 no it's going to be mass recalls from them go back get their items a lot of gold in hand over safe. a thousand for okay. everybody now, I want to call him Ninja Boat because I want to go back to his original days of the first days I told him call him the boat once again because I want to see a ninja on a boat SS right now. Ninja. Here he goes, going aggressive. Tomato going to fall on the green tall Game Hunter being aggressive on the forefront and a big curse coming out immediately. Oh, Game Hunter is destroyed! He melts. The damage being channeled out by John Quay, but it's not just going to be enough. Everyone's sitting at half health. Shaggy Shank at full. Variety at full. Carino the only one getting low, but that's okay. He can do his damage from behind. Trick Tank to fall as well. Coast is doing it! They're going to take gonna the win. Phoenix here as well. They're going to win for the victory. Are you serious? Phoenix is going to drop here. The first one down. They're going to go and end. Well, Cuba Fred going to do his best with the wall. Smacks there with the root. But are they going to be able to do this? That's the question. It looks like the are, but it looks like we're going to have two teams that were unexpected to wow. reach the finals. Make it. Team Coast beats wow. TSM. SK Gaming beats Cloud9. The bottom two seeds make it to the finals in this tournament here wow. live in Cologne.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the pre-game period. Before we get into the best of five series between SK Gaming and Team Coast. It was Aphrodite, Ra, and Chunga. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be first pick, and the and the counter after the counterman oh. phase, take out Chunga, take out that. But the here we go. Ringer. Zeros again. Once again, bringing the tier to the table, and I think this is a pretty nice pickup. Oh, yeah, well, it looks like okay. It won't be, be zeros here in the jungle. It'll be Al Kwong will be holding down your mid lane, in fact, and a Hubwa going to the solo mm. lane. For whatever reason, in my mind, it was Hubwa mid, but but the Fenrir pick right at the end there, coming up from Team Coast. Last time they played Fenrir was against Cloud Nine, and it didn't go very no, well. No, but but I mean, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway with game number one in a best of five series between SK Gaming and Team. Team at Coast. Oh, and left-hand side, you see Princess Tamar trying to go aggressive onto Reels here, but Tamar dropping kind of low. The knock-up from Badge is going oh, to pay dividends. That heal going to have to help out a bit, but Tamar was in a bit of trouble there, but there's still the aggression from oh, Shaggy Shag. Shaggy Shag oh, my goodness. Point. Overextended was Reels. The Archer shot's coming through in addition to the so beautiful and easy-peasy kill. And because the lane of the duo is pushed up and that kill went down, but this is a free speed buff. They can't really contest this. Yeah, down it will go in favor of Coast. Oh, that's got great position here. Does he have the stun available? They're going to go in on a Badger to find the stun after the stun. From Ooh, a little bit stacked up, but it should be enough damage with the Brutalize. Indeed it is. Bobat now doing quite well for himself. Level four, one kill, and a stolen orange buff. I've not really seen be aggressive with this with this Fenrir other than wow, that for the most part. Could extremely go more, early gold fury. Hindu man, this it is, is uh, it is. Could be ugly. Captain Twig doesn't have an ultimate available. He's Tempest. gonna throw it out. There's oh they're going to go ahead and secure it, though. Just walk away with it. That was really yeah. nicely played. Yeah. Coast, Coast seemed to be on point with these sneaky Go Furies. Okay. We're so used to casting big team fights that happen off Go Furies, and then that one. Although, oh. left hand side, Reels getting aggressive across. This guy's going to use ball defensively used. Now Shaggy's out of position as the ball hits, and tomorrow he can back away. But Zero. look at this. Zero's Zero. Carino Zero. on the way. He's going to hit Shaggy. In some trouble now. Bagger's going to go for the old. But Shaggy's going to get out. The Mez is there. He's going to actually try to turn and burn here. Standing in the Apollo heel. It's going to be enough. Down goes Badger. Down goes Zero. But here comes the ultimate from Twig. Hitting Two Shaggy Shake in a bit I mean, of trouble. Damage. Dashing back out. Can he Squall? find it? Cannot indeed. Is there enough from Carino to clean up Twig? Doesn't matter too much damage. Gaming. The jungler of SK Gaming and the mid lane of SK Gaming. They all got involved in that fight. Meanwhile, solo lane, Variety Ooh. finds himself a killer maniac. Ooh. We saw it a moment ago. He burnt the Aegis, and now Variety's on a warpath here in this lane. Again. We still haven't even really seen Fenrir get involved no. in this early How mid stage. How odd is that? How odd is that that Fenrir's not done anything? Well, now he is. Brutalize onto Badger, forcing the shield. Celestial Beam picks him with the Ragnarok. He's just going to stand in that heel and let the ticks go away as their twig gets caught out of position. No taunt follow up from tomorrow, though, and the snipe's not going to connect either. And Shaggy Shake's sitting on another 700 gold in pocket. He so can't trade. Oh, here's a Ragnarok out onto Badger deep in the enemy jungle. They're it's just going to burst him snipe. down. Easy peasy. Ninja Bobat will eat an Alquang ultimate for his trouble, but that's just going to be a quick disengage, and once again, they're going to keep the Geb down. Is As we on? mentioned a few times now, Badger having to sit in this dual lane. It's Tyr's responsibility really to try to destabilize the mid lane, which means he can't put the pressure onto the solo like he wants to, and that's translating into Variety. Oh my his god, the whole team's here. The whole team has come over from Team Coast. Oh, Zeros right. uses Law, bring it to disengage for the most part. But now Bobat is here looking for the aggression. Brutalize is going to do some work, but the shield comes out from Badger on the back of that. And now Twig finds a great squall. Tornado only going to hit onto two members there. But now we're going to see the rotation from Maniac and a big oh, spirit tap is juked out by Carino. He's going to be able to reposition, but Twig does find it. Maniac does have an ultimate available here. Going to rip through, but not going to do too much damage to Variety, who was already ulting as a junk way. He will, however, fall down at the end of things there. This is a great fight they for SK Gaming. Tornado. Can they find another hit? They just need to engage Gold one Fury. more time, but it looks like they're going to try to take the Gold Fury. Tornado. I'm interested who's going to tank here. Are they going to let Badger tank? Because if he gets too low, then tomorrow can try and turn and burn him. Look for the burst. Apollo's oh, coming down. Shaggy. Shaggy finds one. Will he be able to find more? He took a lot of damage from the squall from Twig. Has to reposition himself. He dodges some more attacks. Badger trying to close in. So is Zeros. They're looking for Zeros. Actually, we call. In. Tomorrow goes down, but no one's going to get Go Fury now because both, you know, both the supports are not in a position to get involved. Yeah, they will spot out this Bobat rotation as well. They see it with the ward. Shaggy Shang trying to play He's aggressive against it and bait them into an engagement. Going in once again is Ninja Bobat. They'll find a lot of damage with Brutalize on the Badger. There comes the ultimate, and one big hit from Shaggy Shank is enough to secure the kill onto Geb yet again. 0 and 5 for Badger. What? You would expect five kills in the entire game. Who who picks on a Geb? That's what Team Coast are doing here. They're trying to pick yeah, off the Geb, the Geb. And they're bullying him. Zero's going to go in with the blink, but he's surrounded by four members. They're trying to force a disengage. Yeah. But bursted down, and now with him dead, and now Tomato using the ultimate to get in there. That's going to be a Gold Fury over to Team Coast. Nothing SK can do. And he was just a bit early. I think, you know, was trying to maybe force that out and have the his team rally behind him. Oh, now Hubble in some trouble. Good He's going to get 
taunted out. There's oh, a big Tempest. Pure Tempest coming through in conjunction with that crushing wave, doing a tremendous amount of damage. Variety staying in there, though. Channeling the Ghost with a Geb Shield is enough to keep Maniac alive for now. Nope. Last Ghost chase oh, him down, and down you go, my friend. And Variety is going to just go ahead and recall it in the enemy jungle. A okay. Also, defending that tower for the most part. He's one hit from death right now, but Shaggy going to be able to heal up once but again. The passive. Goes. But look oh, at the right hand side. Oh, boys. Fire Giant being done. And they're trying to disengage now because they can see that SK Gaming were aware of it. Zero's already low. That snipe hit from Carino. But look, they didn't leave the Fire Giant. He's still there. Prince Tomato still tanking up. Now they're going to get the leash and put him back to full HP. But they had whittled it down. Apollo's across the sky. Maniac could be in some trouble here if he comes crashing down. Crushing Wave already used, which prompts Shaggy Shank coming in. Was there a Girdle like user in that fight? Yeah, Prince Tomato with a full rank Girdle. They want to win this game early on. Ninja Bobat trying to find his damage. Will kill Badger, oh, but will go down to the tornado. Now it's going to be Zeros in some trouble. Looks like the last ghost not going to find him from Variety. Captain Twig forcing out Variety as well. This fight actually turning in favor of SK Gaming for now. Two members down for Coast. Shaggy Shank. Here. Oh, he got caught the up in the board. Dragon's dash, and this should be an easy kill onto Mr. Shank, and down he goes. It's a four-man wipe for Carino. three in favor of SK Gaming. Yeah. They've been counter-warding. I mean, you see Sentry Wards out for them all the time. That's They've right. actually spotted Captain Twig trying to counter-snipe himself, and now he's going to have some trouble the throwing up big. the ultimate. Oh, Bobat's leaping out of it, but still gets hit. He's going to go ahead and use Ragnar to get out of here. The Athena oh, damage mitigation, the only thing keeping him alive. Maniac going to be able to beads out of that, putting in a lot of damage. But here comes the Girdle of Might from the Athena. Still trying to fight this. Is Coast? Is Jean going to be enough? There's a stun. Big place from Variety. Zero's in some trouble now. He's going to go down, and down will go everybody in that fight. Just Only reels, reels available. He's going to get piled in on as well. Is there an ultimate available from Shaggy Shake? No, he's going to get in this fight. Reels in a bit of trouble. Boar is used, chain stunning, but it's going to be at least a tier one, and maybe even the Fire Giant here for Coast Gaming. Yep. Easy peasy, Fire Giant for them. Them. You could tell that they were feeling themselves. They really tried to take it earlier on. Yep. Didn't get it, but said, okay, fine. We'll go ahead and take this fight anyway. Fantastic. Yeah, and, uh, and it's because Heavenly Agility synergizes so well with Zhang Kui that right. he's able to pick that up, and then it leaves an open spot for Princess Tomato, as you mentioned. And the Girdle of Sport also helps Zhang Kui along with his spread damage. Jeb going to ult in. Going to find a couple oh, there, but isn't going to be enough. It's just him. The team's streaming in now from behind. Oh, Reels oh, melt. Oh, Ninja oh. Bobak kills Badger. Still sitting in that ultimate. Ragnarok available. Maniac in a lot of the trouble. Was he's going to go down. Alcog ultimate ripping through, doing plenty of damage, but it's just not going to be enough. Zeros with the chain. On to everybody, but he gets exploded by Shaggy Shank. So much and that's damage. an easy fight for Coast Gaming. A four for one. This Phoenix is going to go down here. You can't see Captain Twig survive against the whole team. Shaggy's going to go aggressive. He knows he can fight 1v1. No problem. The tornado. They're all going to sit in it, but look Woo! how tanky they are. They burst him down in seconds. That's a Phoenix. They could possibly get more off that. They're going to go in and try to take this they're one down in. as Coast Gaming. Do they have enough? Will they disengage here? No, it looks like they're going all the way in for they the might victory. Make it. Badger zoned out. Continuing due to the damage. Minions being healed up now. They've just reset. It's gained a bit of health back. Continuing to try to stay in there is Team Coast. Fast Will it be victory. enough damage? Just a couple more hits remaining. 21 minutes. It is going to go the way of Coast wow. Blue. Coast gave them a very fast victory there at the end of the game. They played it so well towards the end. We're just moments away from getting started into game number two in a best of five. Coast Gaming with a tremendous amount of momentum coming into this one. Uh, and so, yeah, locking them in. Yeah, I mean, Chango goes in. Now we're going to go Ooh, over to SK Gaming. And what are they going to God, gonna they're going to snap pick Thanatos. They're going to snap pick Thanatos because Thanatos? Uh, I, I, I got nothing. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, Thanatos is not a jungler. They scale exceptionally well into the late game. It will bring a lot of early game presence for them. They're going to be relying very heavily on Artemis in the late game to be doing the primary amount of their damage. Thanatos does, of course, bring to the table a lot of pressure and can chase down the Apollo quite well. Hey, but we are moving into game now. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, does Maniac go. know how to really handle this matchup? I don't know. That's, that's going to be an interesting thing because Maniac will know how the matchup yeah. play, plays out himself because he plays it for himself. So we'll see. Zero steals away the speed buff, though. And now the aggression on Tomorrow, who's overextended alone, and the rest of the team did collapse in time and now they can look for Shaggy who's going to rotate away. Zero's getting first blood is important Huge. for a Thanatos jungle. Huge and actually he's going to be able to aggress Bobat at the oh, small Bobat camp here. Maybe even look to steal a couple of these away. Oh a lot of damage coming out forcing out the leap away from Bobat and Zero's will find yet another camp and continue what is starting to look like a bit of a snowball here for Thanatos. Oh, if you can now, now everyone knows he's level 5 he's looking for right hand side he's looking for Ra. Uh, yep, going up into the air, and as we mentioned, Maniac gonna take a double Watch stun now. Chonga, this is gonna be a huge kill for them. Chonga is quite low. Snipe coming Snipe. through, but dodged by Variety. Smart play really there by dodged. him, and he was actually falling behind in levels quite severely there. That's a big kill for them, okay. and it's likely to be the Jotun's Wrath on the back of this, especially with his number two granting him extra protection, or sorry, extra penetration as well. Mm -hmm. uh, between the two of them, it's a reasonable amount of penetration, more than the boots would give you normally. Rotation from Reels is here as they try to aggress into the enemy jungle. Prince Mero has a decent angle here. Hovering Death is there, crashing in on Ninja Bobat. There 
comes a death side and the silence as well but peeled away doesn't matter captain twig over the wall Here spirit comes ball the ultimate the zone them out doesn't matter spirit ball secure the kill already and, and as we keep on kind of mentioning he's able to transition from this early game burst style into really a bit more of a utility jungler in the later stages of the game where oh, thor Ooh, is really bats. relegated to the same position throughout the entire game oh my god destroyed there in the hovering death he's popped he's not even going to be needed as twig oh. secures the kill he's going to dunk down a carino though the silence lands but good talk from tomorrow is going to disengage for now as the tornado comes out in the shield from badger but that was a free kill can they capitalize on this looks like they're going to take like it there skills to the gold fury here princess tomato trying to get his way in real's gonna zone him out boar just dropped preemptively apollo taken to the sky is not gonna be in time boar comes crashing as princess tomato this tries to late. engage crashing in big time outgoing ultimate wombo oh! combo coming through from coast gaming but is it gonna be enough no one's damage damage. just yet athena ultimate being channeled as well real zx starting to fall he's looking low badger already down trying to disengage his sk gaming spirit ball hits too and oh, that's gonna be enough to get them out of there for now i princess don't know tomato. no reels is gonna dodge it is it gonna be enough does he have a taunt available going under tower him. getting quite low good here comes zero. Oh, death big so much damage. Corinna Zero's the clean up. Trouble. Zero's has a lot of damage. Has all of the speed. He's going based to on the hello health of Princess Tomato coming crashing in now is a Thor, and this should be a spell for Zero's if he makes his way to this one. Incredible play, but he will not indeed. But what a series of events. But wait for it, because I don't know if Maniac's finished. He's going to continue the aggression, speed himself up. I don't think he's going to find much more than the Celestial Beam on the minion wave. But big pickups overall there for both sides, honestly. So I was like, oh my goodness, they're all going to die. In a lot of trouble now is Variety on the right side lane. Slowed out by Maniac has already used use the damage of Void Silence. ultimate coming out, but he is dead to rights here. Zeros will land that last auto attack and, well, there's a snowball going on and it's on the back of Thanatos. Uh, he's now going to turn left his attention to the left side lane where Shaggy Shank is sitting under 50%. He's HP. diving. Zero's ultimate coming through. Shaggy Shank dashing out. He's now going to get stunned out into death side. Uses his nicely, but it doesn't matter because Reap Souls is there. Princess Tomato in a lot of trouble as well as Boar is out. He CC it in place and down he goes a as snowball. well. snowball. SK Gaming looking very strong in game number two. They're yeah, they, they want to get a fight. I agree. Uh, and Badger, notably, not tanking in here. It's going to be zero. We go. His life so because Badger wants to be able to leap in there. Now auto attacking. Does he have? A, he has a blink one, so he's going to need to disengage for a bit to be able to easily initiate. Starting to get low. Here comes Princess Tomato. Only finds a two-man taunt. Is it going to be enough? Yes, Chang'e ultimate is God, big. Here move. comes Yao Kuang ultimate as well. One oh, down. The up clean here up. is zeros, but so is Thor. Thor comes crashing down. Here comes zeros crashing in as well. But this looks like coast fight for now. And a lot of trouble is SK Gaming. They have to find some way to turn this around. There comes a wind they take out zero, but is it going to be enough? Shaggy Shank gets stunned out by the Spirit Ball, but Captain Twiggy uses the Aegis to try and delay time. Big tour from Tomato, and now Maniac's going to run for his life, but Shaggy cleans that one up. D aside for Team Coast. That's and huge. from the backside, I said this Gold Fury was so important, but. Okay. Gold will be down under 2k with this Gold Fury coming down as well. And if they have a good look at the map, they may be able to push into the mid lane, but they're going to be safe. Well, so uh, SK starting to get yet more of a foothold here. Uh, mid tower already down. Now Zero is going to try to rotate out of here. Actually, the wall gonna miss, gonna the the back. going to miss. They're going to miss. They're going to miss. They're going to miss. They're Oh. Round the back, going to find two members of Tomato. Zeros goes to the sky as well. Spirit Ball's not going to count. Badger's still hovering. He's looking for someone. Hovering Death does connect with Carino. And he's actually used the Spirit Tempest, but he's still going to go down. And Carino goes down for nothing. I, I agree. I mean, the one thing to know about these cooldown boosts as well is that that extra gold generation can go towards wards. And if yeah. you don't have as many wards on the map as a support, oh, that was a great initiation coming out from Coast there. A lot of damage onto Badger of all people, but the wing goes from Twig, going to force them back. Apollo. But look who's going up. Apollo and Thor both come crashing in. Zeros is taken to the Hovering Death as well, looking for a target. Big Isis Ultimate coming out. Here comes the Aqua Ultimate as well. Crashing in now, Zero. Find one kill. That's one stack for him. And going to continue in there. Shaggy Shake finds a kill on the Captain Twig. Princess Tomato quite low. Zero gets a double kill. Oh, in this big fight. silence. And this is a big silence indeed. He finds a two kills, gets his stacks, but very low as SK Gaming. Variety Not sure they can continue this. Variety going to take some damage from Maniac. Auto attack, auto attack. Third auto attack finds the kill. Nice, Maniac. And just like that, it's a three player wipe in exchange for just Captain Twig. Just favor Twig. of SK Gaming. But Zeros isn't done yet, but the So Beautiful comes out from Shaggy. Ooh, SK. They're really going to rush this? Oh, SK. There is no ultimate available for Carino. There's not much he can do. It looks like they've just baited him into it. Can they find the boar or root? Doesn't matter. There's a silence coming out. And down oh, he Carino. goes. There's a hovering death as well. Shaggy Zero's in trouble now. Shaggy Shank, there's... Oh, and the snipe coming through as well. Great snipe. Is it going to be enough? Hitting his number two. It will indeed. He gets the assist. Another stack on the urchin. Zero's continues to snowball through this game. Thor's, Thor's taking the skies, though. Can they find him? They cannot. Misses. Another missed ultimate from Bobat. Good wall, though. So that's going to prevent Zero's from getting away. He's going to use the silence to prevent the damage from Bobat. But now Bobat's getting turned up by Zero's. Meanwhile, Fire Giant be done. Can Tomato get there? He can't. SK Game and get the Fire Giant. And now Zero's is rotating onto Tomato as the team looks to retreat. But Zero's in trouble. Zeros is uh, away, not in that much trouble, it looks like there. Man, 
What play? And you know, another thing that we didn't really mention that we probably should have uh, noticed is that Thanatos pick coming on the back of the Thor first pick. And they're quite happy to push on this Phoenix and let Apollo split push. So he's not going to get the Phoenix in time. Tentacles mits to the ultimate coming through as well. Big a lot of trouble. Hovering Death going to come crashing down on the Alquan. Down he goes to Zeros. Oh, Zeros. Get another sack. Righty now going to be the one in trouble. Sunning him out his Ninja Bobet. But just disengaging is Zeros. Perfectly happy to do so. And they'll go ahead and take this Phoenix. Uh, as tier 2 does fall, in fact, to Apollo in the right side. Will we see the recalls coming out to stop this? Yes, really going to go ahead and fall back and push him away from the Phoenix. The Gonna rotate straight away with mid lane. Ra with those heals. Gonna be able to sustain them up as they do this. Variety's gotta make a big play with Princess Tomorrow here to try and keep themselves in this. Uh, they will actually defend that tier two, so a little bit more gold Apollo's going their way. Apollo's gonna be come crashing still in going. on the backside of Captain Twig. Do they have enough damage though with that ultimate as well, being able to heal them back up? Ra snipe comes through. Thor taking to the air. Can he find Captain Twig? Silence. Twig? Doesn't matter, Variety only downs bin to win. Will kick and kill Captain Twig, but is it going to be enough? More Fire Giant buffs go down. It was a two for one. Two for on one line. in favor of SK Gaming again. And so right now, I mean, they're in a great position to just continue sieging. Bobat round the back, looking for an opportunity. Big Tog coming out from tomorrow. Oh, it's a one member, but Zeros is going aggressive on Bobat. Bobat has to use the Hovering hammer of the wall. Dead. Meanwhile, Reels takes out Shaggy in the dunk down from Zeros, looking for the aggression on tomorrow one more time. If he drops down, this looks like a second Phoenix for sure. Yeah, second Phoenix yeah. going to fall no make well for them in the mid game. has been purely dominated. On oh, the back of zeros. I mean, this looks like his first tier game. Shaggy trying to put the pressure on left hand side. I mean, you can see the tail oh, one time going down. Falls going one. up though at the same time. But that cataclysm, like you said, connected to Mario's in a lot of trouble here. Has to jump out. The dunk down from Boba is not been effective so far. Waxing Moon does connect, but now across this, you can see this the hover come down again from zeros. A maniac picks up Boba. On it. Ten two and ten is a slash line for zeros. It's not easy. And they're going to be looking for their final Phoenix here. And he is just a nightmare. He's chunking. He's chunking everything he sees in his path. The last Phoenix looks like he's going to fall down here. Shaggy. Shank still split pushing for this other Phoenix, but I don't. It's too little, too late. Now, yeah, he's recalling now, and he's going to be here for this defense. But Carino's going to go down, and Al Kwong's a big factor in being able to keep these fire minions out. This could be the victory for SK. It looks like he's going to be. I mean, they're going to push on mid lane. The fire minions are starting to whack away on that Titan as well. And you see Zeros picks himself an upper kill for a double kill for himself there. Spirit Ball connects on the backside onto Shaggy Shanks so and zoning him out. Meanwhile, Titan still slowly dying. Zero's going to drop down, though, to the whack of the Titan. Credit goes over to Princess Tomorrow. But game two looks like he's going to go all the way to SK Gaming. Wow. One and one now in the best of five. Ladies and gentlemen, SK Gaming with a dominant victory on the back of Zero's Thanatos there. Gentlemen, thank you very much, Paul. We are moments away from getting underway in game number three, all squared at one apiece. Yeah, all squared at one apiece between these two teams. I mean, SK Gaming last game, Brawl, Thanatos, something that we didn't expect to see in this tournament overall. Indeed. Will they ban a Thanatos is the big question on my mind. I don't know. I mean, do you really go for that? It's a risky ban. That's it's, how it's, I feel. I mean, it's the definition of a risky ban. I mean, you're banning away a pure pocket pick. I don't think you can send Chunga Min, not with a Fenrir on the table. Although Fenrir does quite well against both Chunga and Hubwa. Uh-oh. SK Gaming taking a look the at hovering. Thanatos yet again. And they're going to lock in their combat. They're going to lock in their Thanatos. So they're going to try to take another spin on the back of the God of Death. I would be I would, it wouldn't surprise me. And like, Shaggy Shanks all is fantastic. You know, for him to pick that one up, he's not surprised. We are getting pulled into game here now. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for game number three between SK Gaming and Coast? Uh, so if you are just joining us, guys, welcome to game number three in a best of five SK Gaming and Coast. It is getting uh, to a reasonable hour on the East Coast, so we're happy to have you here with us. And uh, we are live here from Cologne, oh, Germany. Uh, Bobat going to go in on a Captain Twig, who's in a lot of trouble. Stop coming through as well. And down he goes for the first kill. Well, here comes coming Zeros. in as Hovering Death. Is it going to be enough damage? Though I don't think so with the creep I've coming in. Thanos is just too too squishy. Yeah, I mean, when we get to the team fight stages, this Chunga versus uh, Jean Kui matchup, I really feel Jean Kui is going to bring more to the table than Chunga is. Yeah, uh, unquestionably. Chunga oh, definitely lane. falls off in the later stages. Oh, and a lot of trouble now is Captain Twink. Oh, he's Get stunned out, and here comes a Ragnarok, but he's gonna actually crush away right away from it. They're gonna be able to pick up zeros. Is it gonna be enough damage? Those sounds coming out. There's the death slice. A lot of damage. And Karina now the one in some trouble. Zero turns attention to him. Badger rotating in as well. Can he get the mess? He will indeed, stopping Princess Tomato's channel of her ultimate. And that is gonna be that for the moment. But a nice turnaround there by SK Gaming. Stop Twig right. using the crushing wave defensively Beautiful. kept himself alive. And Zero's coming in. He got eaten by the Ragnarok, and it didn't pay off for them because he silenced all three. And now the aggression onto zeros, though, because Shaggy Shank has turned up to the fight. Great Reels rotation. was very, very late. Badger is in trouble, but Reels is going to help him out and secure Carino, but now Twig's going to run away because Shaggy's looking for more. Yeah, Shaggy in here throwing in the damage. Is it going to oh, be he's gonna back out. Princess he's Tomato leaving. now the one in some trouble? And down he will go as well. Double kill to Reels, and that's going to spring the dual lane wide I open. Mean, Shaggy Fenrir scales well all stages of the game. The issue with him is confirming that damage. Yeah, you know? Being able to get the whole brutalized damage off. Here we see it engage onto Chunga on the right-hand side. Ragnarok pops Aegis used by Maniac, and then straight after the two. But Waxing Moon saves the day, and then with a turnaround for Variety, secures it. But to the skies comes Zero's dropping down, looking for the damage. He's not found anything, though. 
Yeah, having a hard time securing this damage. Zero's in a bit of trouble here. Now going to get killed out. And Captain Twig going to dash back through to try and uh, basically just get back in a good position to defend his tower. Robo Coast were the ones that came out on top of that. It was a good rotation again. I feel Princess Tomato's Athena needs to be banned oh, out, A lot of damage out on oh. Twig here. He's going to use his Aegis, but it's not going to be enough. As oh, the, the shield, shield wall detonates, doing enough damage to kill Twig. And this time in favor of Coast. Yeah, in favor of Coast. And now those buffs have spawned. Blue and red available. I don't think they can rotate over there because Zero's back online as is Chunga. But it's going to cause Mr. Lesser's on. He is. He's going to be going down. Epic Good leap. Cut, leaping away. It's going to be enough. Throws the axe. Doesn't hit. And now it's Badger in the front line, but he's getting hit by Ninja Bowman. Oh, Reels finds the last hit. And that's going to be the disengage from SK Gaming if they can make their way oh, out. Another kill going there. I mean, actually, Bobas not finished. He wants to keep going. He's looking for something. Can he find it? He's leaping onto Badger. Brutalized damage onto Badger as well. But he's going to put the passive of all things. And the trap is important as well. The Mez was there. And now you're going to see Carino rotate in, but they're not going to be able to clean if not. But meanwhile, oh, Zeros is coming. Death. Knocking it onto Ninja Bobat. Leaping Good away from it just in time. Beautiful play. Carino, now the one getting aggressed onto, but with the passive of Ra, the extra run speed, no way Zeros can chase that down. At his leisure. No, he's uh what did he go for he's to gone, set him back? He's oh, gone for the beads. The beads and boots. Beads and boots. I think okay. this is a good decision to go for the sprint and stuff, but aggression once again onto Tomato. He's an aggressive badger blinks in, but he's alone. The rest of the team didn't come with him, and now Ragnarok gets used by Ninja Bobat. Bring him to the tower, they say. Bring him down. Uppercut used, but he's not going to secure a kill. And that's a free one. That could be a goal for you. That was a misplay from Badger. To get the goal here. Yeah. Hubble rotating over as well as Chong up from the mid and solo lane, but is it going to be enough and will it be in time? Tomorrow's got the ultimate, he's going to jump in onto Variety, who's going to be in the forefront of the Ooh. team, but Twig destroys Boba before he can do anything. Variety's trying to do it. Meanwhile, though, reels on the backside for Carino, and now Shaggy Shag's alone, surrounded by members. Can he find Twig? He's going to have to leap over the wall, but the Spout's going to connect to him, slow him down. Maniac picks up the Variety on the backside, and now SK Gaming get the chance for the goal fury. Beautiful play by them, but do they have enough to tank this up? Going to pass it off to Reels. He doesn't have Devourer's Gloves done yet, so it doesn't have a tremendous amount of lifesteal. It's a tricky situation. In the what? meantime, Badger, Badger chases chased down him. Shaggy Shank. We didn't cut out one as the gold fear is going down, but SK picks it up and turns this game around. His beads are now upgraded to greater, fury, greater purification beads as well. He's so strong right now. It's going to be hard to kill and bring down. Yeah, it, uh, well, really, more importantly, it's going to be very hard for Captain. Oh, Carino. Oh, yeah, all that thought is Captain Wiggs going in. Carino getting a lot of damage put on top from Princess Tomatoes here. He's going to be able to dash out, and I don't think SK finds a kill. On the, the backside, back though, Ninja Bobat does get zeros in a 1v1. Jewel Fenrir comes out on top of the brutalized damage. Didn't manage to find the silence in zeros. They actually missed that one. Shaggy's going to rotate into this to help Variety out. On the backside, can they find Twig? They're looking for him. He's in a bit of trouble here. Does have the water cover. Reels! Now, dash away. Reels. Gonna find the kill on the Shaggy Shank. Variety does kill Captain Twig, and that's another two down for SK Gaming. Maybe a bit of contention over at the right side camps as Maniac and Zeros are here backing them up as Badger. But it looks like the camp is gonna go no. It's Waxing Moon. Two man Waxing Moon. And now the aggression coming out. Zero's looking to chunk down Tomato of all people. On the front of Epic, couple of uses Carino. He's going to get the snipe up and not find a kill from it. And now you see Zero's take to the sky to make sure it doesn't take too much damage. But Badger's getting low from Variety. Dashing back in, but left over is Ninja Bobat. Yeah. Zero's on the one. Trouble Go coming through. Doesn't matter. Brutalizes oh, there. Bobat. The damage. Double. Using Ragnarok to run away. Now going to try to re-aggress on the Captain Twig. Thinking better of it yet again. <laughs> Beads used by Twig to go ahead and secure that kill. And Bobat wisely going to leap away. But he may Maybe a 4v3 breaking out here Looks as like the mid laner and Zero's rotate in. Uh, and only the three members Rotating in now, oh, Shaggy. Prince Middle coming from the base. Shaggy Shank could be in a bit of trouble as there's a great angle here for Captain Twig. The knockup is good. Shaggy Shank goes down to the burst from the boar and, and the, the silence. silence coming through. Thanatos starting to find his kill. Yeah. Overall, he had to use the leap to close and get the gap back to his own tower. But now Badger's going to blink right. in, looking for variety. Epic up a cut used. Big What's going to be the follow up? There's a waxing moon. You can see the ornament from Athena being channeled, but it's not going to connect. Meanwhile, on the backside, Twig is fighting three members and going to continue the aggression. Covering death. I don't no, think he's no, going to no, go no. Goal Fury. Goal Fury. Better that one. Now they're going to get Goal Fury for free. There's nothing the coast can do about this one. I think it's a bait. It's a bait. They're trying to lull in coast to come and find out if we're doing it. Mainex in a great position for a waxing moon if they channel themselves through. Shaggy Shank well aware, no always vision. in middle. Look at Reels auto attacking against the wall to look, make it look like he was actually fighting the fire giant there. Here comes Badger though, going aggressive. Uppercut's going to be used. And the dunk down. Where's the damage going to come from? They're looking for tomato, but good snipe comes through. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. And Maniac waiting for the right time for oh, waxing moon. Crush away. Here it comes. Variety in a lot of trouble. It's not going to be him. Bobat likely to do one slide out on the backside of this board. No, it's just going to be zoning there it's from Zero. It's great Zeros. call. Alexa, to go on smart stuff once again. They can either bait one more time, and that's what they're going to do, but they're going to bait it. Yeah, they are going to be able to look at this positioning. Knocking oh, Shaggy. Shaggy. Getting bursted down really, really fast. The Shaggy's in a lot of trouble. Leap doesn't go far enough. Down he goes. The Badger with that root. And now it's going to be try to be a play from Ninja Bobat. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Athena trying to taunt them in. But Badger's not the target that they need I'm to burst down here. No. But they say the tower once again. They do. And you can see Variety's having to <laughs> be very careful. Walk up to the fire giant going, okay, I'm going to place oh, a walk quickly. But now Twig's here with Zeros. 
No, nope, Waterhand's gonna miss. Knock up will hit, but they won't have enough to come on the back. Zero's, Zero's, Zero's in the air. Does he have enough to crash down? He will indeed. There's a stun. False his beads. uses the beads, but I don't think Ride is getting out of this one alive. No, he's not. He's in the world of hurt, and he's gonna drop again. And he had to because he was the only one on his team with wards there, but... This time, will they actually start the fire giant? No, they're just gonna hang just around it wait. again. Even more baits coming out now. Here comes Princess Tomato. Tomato and hey, careful. look, there's a whole team. Yeah, has to run away. Badger gonna continue with a throwback to go aggressive. Spout gonna connect, as is the Mez. And now it looks like Tomorrow's in trouble. Gonna have to use the Ultimate to try and get away. Is he gonna be able to chill it in time? He is, but that's on cooldown now. So oh, Fire Giant now finally started. Good call. The baits have been enough, it looks like. Still very leery of going in as Coast Prince Tomato trying to find positioning. Twig zoning by well. Twig, doing a great job here. Fire Giant getting dangerously low. There Get it down. is, Death used as well. And it looks like Thanatos is gonna be trying to find Carinho here. No, it's gonna be easily beat it out by him. Nice play to save his life. Most likely Meanwhile. Ninja Bobak could be the one in some trouble. We're gonna use Ragnarok, actually electing to pick up Twig, but I'm not sure how much he wants to carry him along with him. Water spouts enough to find the kill with 413 I, damage. I don't think the dog enjoyed being wet there, that's for sure. Crushing Wave connects up to Row, and he's gonna drop down two for Twig to get a double. Now we're gonna see the tier two tower drop down thanks to this fire giant buff gonna help to tear that one down. And it's I, I mean, they're just gonna, you know, concede this Phoenix in favor of getting Shaggy some farm. This looks uh, disturbingly similar to the last game. Like, really we're 90 seconds apart from where we saw this exact same thing happening in the last game. Wow, that's ridiculous how close it is. Now Badger looking for variety again. Variety is surrounded Done. one more time. Silence. Done. This is looking like SK has found themselves a great niche pick in this Thanatos and Coast having trouble dealing with it. I mean, if this is going to continue the way it's going, but, you know, we're joking. Oh, big taunt coming out from Tomato there. They're looking for a bit of aggression back. Zero's in a bit of trouble there. Going to take to the sky to make sure he gets out of trouble, but now also the ultimate force by a feet there by the looks of it. He's playing it very, very well. Time is up again. Tier 2 tower goes down. We oh, right side. A lot of trouble. Trying to recall their Feeds. Feeds. Captain Twig going to leap over the wall, but that's going to buy a lot of time as the Phoenix Siege happens on the left side. Yeah, left hand side, Waxy Moon's gonna connect onto Variety. He's trying to tank up and deal some damage, but Zeros brings him down. The Athena rule was channeled, but not gonna find it. Kumba still tanking up a storm as Ragnarok. He takes him to the Titan, but meanwhile, Tomorrow's getting chucked down from Badger gets the kill for that one. As Zeros and the rest of Reels and the rest of SK Gaming bring down the Phoenix on the left hand side, and now they're looking to end again. No more Phoenixes available. SK Gaming pushing in. Badger has enough health to take this up with the Chang'e yield support. He's gonna go to the back line in Mez 3, looking very, Tricks very nice. Here. Titan getting so low. Last hit. It's enough. SK Gaming takes the game advantage. To come back from a 1-0 deficit after the first game and to go up two games in a row, fantastic play. And a lot of this is down to this Thanatos. Honestly, it's thrown a spanner in the works of Coast and they've not got an answer for it yet. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is game number four here live from the ESL studios in Cologne. We are Will this be the Thanatos fan that Will we're looking for? It'd be the Thanatos. Wow. That's me clapping if it that, sounds that's, like that's just crap. Thanatos mic, but... got a ban. Wow. Thanatos banned out. Is this the real Thanatos world? is a guy that was considered unplayable coming into this tournament. I mean, jean Cui, very weak early game. Hombas doesn't really bring too ah. much on. But there's a final pick from Coast, and like we said, talking I about... I thought this might happen here. Pocket strats. Yeah, well, it's the Loki match with the Geb. It's something that's extremely popular in the North American scene. It's You just allow the Loki to get in and out so aggressively. And as you mentioned, more on the EU side of things, the Loki solo lane versus a Ra is a popular pick because you're only really in danger maybe the first five or six levels of the Loki, and then besides that, it's basically free farm. That's true, I mean, Variety's in the mid lane. He is at the moment. I don't think, <laughs> no, I don't think he's I don't stay think he's staying. Here, but I don't think he's staying. I no, mean, that would be something. That, that would be really interesting to see them actually switch up roles to an extent, or actually positions, especially with the normal scene. But looking for a decoy, that's why. Trying to drag it away from them. And he yeah, uses we'll the hog it. to steal it away. I like that okay, call. smart stuff. You're going to give themselves the early advantage. Going to give him that quick level two as well as at least some experience off of this orange camp going down. There it is. We've got to oh, see that today. Look at Badger. He's oh, through. Badger. So wow. cheeky. Wow. That's aggressive, just to go in the enemy jungle and steal away the red buff. But they must have an idea this is going on, Coast. They must have a clue. They've realized that bad, bad guys are not even there. I mean, how they, yeah, I mean, they have to realize that he hasn't been in the lane yet. That was a long time. Mid, oh, the tomorrow's so out. late. I mean, it's just far too late. Really? Uh, they seem to be very, very comfortable here. They have very small gold advantage, of course. Uh, now we're going to put some damage out on the Maniac. His variety forced to run away, though, as he can't eat too many of these water hands, or he's just going to go down. That's right, our left hand side. Cataclysm used by Princess Tomorrow. His badge is getting aggressed on for the most part. The ball was used by Shaggy and delayed. Reels getting in, but Reels body blocking. Oh, here comes for his support. Rotation is big from SK Gaming. Rotating it as zeros. Badger does go down, but at what cost? The zeros in the back line. Shaggy shaking a lot of trouble. Twigs here as well. Can they find the double kill on the back Carino. of this? There goes one. Princess Tomato trying to roll out. Going to get blocked out. There goes two. Here's Carino channeling the ultimate, but it's just not going to be enough damage to take out well, Captain Twig, will it? Aegis is going to go. There's no beads on Twig because he used it early, and you see Ninja Grove getting taken in there, picking up the kill with the auto attack. Now Zeros tries to re-aggress. Not going to find it as Carino sustains up, but now Apollo's here. 
Oh, Apollo coming crashing in. Carino taking a lot of damage, but is it going to be enough? Ninja Boba putting in One the hit. auto attack. One more hit onto Carino, but there's a full creep wave there. They're taking a lot of damage just to stay in here and aggress this. Bobat realizes that and goes to fight, but they're clearing it quite quickly. Now trying to get out is Ninja Bobat. Bobat reels a bit Special too far delivery. back. Special delivery. Does he have it in time? He will indeed. Good tossing beads. back towards reels. Beads out. Good call there by Ninja Bobat. A very, very dangerous position, but at the end, SK comes out on top. SK does come out tightly. Now Bobat's going to rotate in just at the right opportunity, oh, and they're going to look for Maniac. Maniac. The decoys down, force the minions, vanish and assassinate, use a Maniac, crushing wave, but now Bobat is here. He's All he has to do, Fader Weevil. It wasn't a great Fader Weevil, though, in the ages he's going to buy Maniac time, but not enough. And Ninja Bobat secures a kill, and that's all off the back of the sentry. Yeah, that's oh, he's just, no, he's just gone back. He placed the one, and now he's oh, gone yeah, back. Oh, yeah, he's gone back. Yeah. Okay, my bad. I was like, how's he still going? Meanwhile, left side, Banker going in aggressive. Going to try and steal away the blue buff, the burp. Going to land onto Shaggy Shank. Apollo's going to the sky. They're going deep for this one onto Shaggy. They're going to try to secure it. There's the Mez coming out. Good so beautiful. Cataclysm. The Cataclysm's good. Reel's in a bit of trouble here now trying to disengage. Oh. Is it going to be enough? Over-aggressive, and now Reel's caught out. Luckily, the mini wave tank in the tower. Can he keep running? That's the question. Bobat's not going to let him as he throws out that monkey or space ball in this situation at the 10-minute mark. He doesn't ward exactly on the Gold Fury. He'll ward just outside of range, but it gives him plenty of vision because the team will pull the Gold Fury in that direction. Yeah, that's right. There's a, actually initiation on the left side, but Badger takes a tremendous amount of oh. damage, and they just got blown up. They did, and now Reel's is going to drop down too. He's not going to be able to find everything. They went aggressive as well there. And Re Shaggy Shank and Prince of Tomorrow turned that one around. And now, definitely, Gofu is going to get started here. Who he is, at the end of the day, a pure assassin. So, uh, ultimate being channeled. We're going to think better of it now. Gold Fury getting a bit low. Is he going to try to dash through? He's going to always. Variety, dashing through and misses, misses everybody. Everything. They split. Brutal for him. Maniac coming through as well. But then he's going to get stunned out as he tries to come back into the Fear No Evil. Captain Twig does clean up Shaggy Shank, but Maniac finds Princess Tomato. Now Bobat doing his damage. Zero finds damage in the back as well. Can he kill Bobat before he can leap away? Doesn't look like it. Can he leap away? Bobat Boa has to keep running away. He's not going to find the major look. Leaps towards Variety. Variety going to go back in here. The stab on to Captain Twig. Finds one book and Zeros. Trade that one back. Well, Badger's here to make sure that Burp's going to secure it with the help of Zeros and the auto attacks. Seven to eight. A deal status. Reels comes in on the back and cleans out Boba. No, they've not They've not really had to worry about that at all. I mean, Captain Twig's kind of kind of had a bit of free roam to an extent. I mean, overall, oh, Variety, oh, now he's in trouble now. now. Yeah, he's overextended. He's going to have to use the immunity of the bees to come back. Fear no evil pops as the beads ended. And that's going to connect. That was a better fear. No evil. And then there's a like boom. Hubwa could be in some trouble here. Sonic Fu coming through, but Variety's on the backside of this Hubwa. No, he's just going to counter ward instead. That, that's also the key to this. It's not just world places. It's about knowing when Variety's left the lane or not. Right, right. But he hasn't left the lane. That's true. I mean, oh, Christian Wade going to connect him, though. He's going to look for the aggression back onto it, forcing the beads, forcing the vanish. He had to use beads to get the cooldown reduction off them to be able to get himself um, away oh, from that with the vanish. Zero through the smoke. Variety's going to try to recall here. I'm not sure if Zero sees him. No, he's he guessed wrong. Oh, oh, he guessed wrong. Variety saw him and went, thank the lucky stars. Now, for him not to do that. Question, but now he's going to get caught out of position here. I don't think he saw Variety coming in. He got hit by the assassin. The ghosts are going to chase him downtown. And he's going to drop down for free. As he just Those ghosts. Right ghosts. Them ghosts, and now he's going to look like a tier one tower being taken. Left-hand side, though, engagement again, as Apollo has to go to the sky to try and get away. But Reels is doing good work. Sorry, Shaggy's doing good work to Badger as Princess Tomato's second up. I think Tomato's bitten off too much, though. Yeah, he's going to have to find two or three auto attacks. Yeah, you're right. Princess Tomato does go down there, but they find a kill for Shaggy Shank. They're willing to take that trade. Bobat just hanging around here, waiting for this mid camp to spawn. He's still watching because Captain Twig could rotate around the back, and Reels is here, too. Bobat's in trouble. Yeah, trying to dance away. Twig is here, slowing him down. Reels Good is going to have to... Well, Reels is basically going to have to find the Mez. And here it is. There's the Mez oh, coming out. Nice going. speeds as well. They're still going. Delivery. Bobat in a lot of trouble. Dashing out. No, Burp of the Gods is going to be enough. And Variety actually gets stunned out at the back tail oh. end of that. Big problems for him. Ultimate still available, though, for the Loki. Look for it to come out. Beads used. Now the Vanish coming Maniacs out. Wants to find the damage onto Maniac. Stacks up the dot. Down he goes. Ultimate still available for Variety to come back in. There it is going on a Twig. And that's going to be a burst down. Just like that. Badger now the one to the clean it up. And that's a four man white for one on a Ninja Bobat that just overextended. And now Coast taking a look at the gold or Fire oh, Giant as well in just a moment. They'll be able to rotate and backdoor that easy at any time that they want. And Coast Gaming looks like they want to take this one all the way to game five. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a great call from SK Gaming. Maybe they're going to make a defense on this right-hand side one, but overall we're going to see some aggression coming out as tomorrow rotates around the back side. Yeah, the burp coming out to the stun-out tomato, but... Uh you know, it's like we know. Oh, here comes the special delivery coming in. I'm sorry. The ultimate from the Mercury is trying to go in, but he's just taking so much damage. He goes down to Bobat, who then just prances right back oh, out. Shaggy Shank gonna get picked up by Reels in the back line, but Maniac to fall as well here to the dot in just a moment. Indeed, there he goes. Go All down. Right, he's doing Reels work. in a lot of trouble as well as the damage comes out from Variety. Bobat goes pretty deep. Uh, he can blink back in onto Twig. They're gonna slow him down now. Princess Tomato blinks into the back line. Down goes Twig. Another four for one wipe. This time, Shaggy Shank the one to fall. And now the teams are kind of split on what they want to do. They want to take tier two. No, they're gonna go for the Phoenix in middle lane. Only Reels 
here to defend. What can he do? Well, he's trying to push Variety back. But meanwhile, you can see Tomato's just tanking it on forever. And Reels can't really do anything. But Variety's on the front line trying to zone him out. Minions have spawned. Is this Phoenix going to fall? It's taking a long time. They do get it down. Will they find Reels? Nah, it doesn't look like they'll be able to. In fact, this is just such a difficult position for him because how does he try to if address he into the team? He's, he's going to explode. That's yeah, the he's going to absolutely explode. He's going to be very careful. Probably three shots. He's gone in very early. Badger with that belly flop, and now they're going to look to aggress him. I expect. Look at the backside. Prince of Tomorrow very good. See, crushing wave comes out. Shaggy Shank under a lot of pressure, but the Caledonian ball helping. But Reels goes in from doesn't find it so beautiful, and the trades backwards and forwards take a long time and a lot out of Reels. Meanwhile, Ninja Bobat looking to pick up kills, takes out zeros and helps clean it up, getting a double kill for himself. Only Reels survive. They seem, that's the focus from SK Gaming here. Take out Shaggy Shank every single fight, but they're committing a lot to it. Phoenix in mid lane, gonna spawn again. No, sorry, so he's, he's gonna get chunked, spawn again, but he's gonna get very low very quickly. Yeah, the last way of firing, it's gonna be tough for him to keep it out, especially Princess Tomato's just gonna go in there preemptively, just zone them away, so it's just an easy kill for the Phoenix. Uh, granted, they won't have that blink initiation to move into the next Phoenix, but you know, I think they're, they they're feeling okay about it. Yeah, I mean, look at Princess Tomato. Badger's gonna go on the front line, but now he's zoned out from the team. They're probably gonna just focus to burst Badger down here for the most part. Intoxicate does go off, but Shaggy and Carino do easy, so much easy. damage. And he's already gone, but that was a great initiation from Maniac and Reels going in. Oh, this is looking like actually a pretty good fight for SK Gaming, but can they find enough to down currently for SK? Now the third, no. is it going to be another four for one? It is. And four a quadra for one kill and a quadra quadra kill. It's not going to be bad, I hope someone seals us away from him. He's not going to take that. I don't <laughs> see it. So you can see Zero's like, nope, nope, we are not having Penta kills today, sir. And it looks like we're going to see a deciding game, two for two. Zero's goes aggressive on Carino, looking for it. Will there be a delayed Penta? And no, it will not variety. because uh, taking down is Variety. Titan to fall. SK Gaming. Important game Gonna be Coast. pushed to a fifth game now versus Team Coast on the back of some very, very interesting Loki play. Yeah, I mean, I, I love what Variety did with that pick overall. Welcome back to the European Pro League for Smite, the kickoff LAN. I guess you could say that, you know, there's something about two men, one cup or something along those lines. We're gonna did go he really just say two men, one cup? I think he did. Wow. I think he did. But now, ladies wow. and gentlemen, welcome back. It is game number five, Coast Gaming versus SK Gaming. And the hype is real, my the friends. The hype is real. It's the two teams that were coming in as certainly as the underdogs into this tournament. Real. Aphrodite banned out by Coast. No big surprise there. The return ban is Osiris. So that just confirms it now with oh, that last... Wow. Full respect. First banning phase, Thanatos off the board. Yeah, and it looks like taking another look at Loki as Team Toast. And they are just going to basically They're draft gonna go again? the exact same team. It is apart from Apollo, isn't it? Apollo was Artemis last game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's so right. He was playing Artemis, and that's the only real switch up between Ooh, the two. So wow. Anyway. And you know, and it's been a long time since we've seen Nemesis in the European in League. Europe, yeah. and, and she's extremely popular in North America. Well, not extremely, but she's very popular in North America, especially in land setting. And here we're going to see what she can bring to the table. Nemesis, a very mobile jungler. Right. That, my friends, is going to do it. And once more into the fray for the final time, it is game number five, SK Gaming versus Team Coast Blue. The difference is he's, she's got a lot more sustain overall sure, than yeah, Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if she can actually, you know, not and on top of that, you know, if she can actually time it nicely and make sure she... What are they going to do about this? They look at Variety dance. setting up once again doing for it again. the steal. And there they go. And bam. And bam. Denying experience once again. But this time it's going to be... Maybe they forgot about that. You know, yeah, the map indeed. rotation is different. So it's like, you don't really expect a Loki to come all the way over and steal that one away. It's a lot like a Bastet jungle, you know, when she yeah. does that at the yeah, start yeah. of the game. But of course. Paid off for him again. And as we try and look at wait, that, wait, wait, you see wait, a Fury being Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold that thought. There's a Gold Fury here. Three minutes and... 30 this is fast. seconds in. Coast is just going to sneak this one right away. You know, it doesn't really matter how good your hunter is if they're getting an early thousand gold going their way. You know much, much earlier than they did last game. In fact, about oh, two and a Badger. half to three minutes. Badger going to get caught out. Ninja going to rotate in here. Big Finn, evil right in position as we charged out as well. There's a cataclysm as well. But two ultimates down. It was worthwhile because he got a first blood. Right. He's waiting for SK to pull it so he can decoy once again like he's done a couple of times and just hug it away. Watch and this. There there it is. a hug. I'm not sure who went to, though, because Zeros look like he's going to go Captain Quick. Ultimate coming oh, out. Twig. Force to ult away. Wait, poison not gonna be enough to Maniac take him. I thought he was gonna come in with the Baxin Moon, but he's not gonna go for it. And now Badger's caught out of position a bit. Carino and Ninja Bobat lucky for someone. It looks like they're gonna be going on to Maniac overall. Fear no evil connects right in the middle, and she's not gonna be able to get out of that. Big Waxing Moon, though, slows him down with the Cataclysm as well from Zero onto Zero. It's gonna slow him, but no one dies apart from Carino to the tower.
Yeah, and Variety has finished off his Heartseeker a bit ago. Oh, Boba? Yeah, uh, Boba gonna call that a little bit, but Stun Shield gonna save him for oh, now. Carino's in big trouble in mid. The crushing wave was forced and assassinated. He's used onto Captain Twig. Carino finds the killer. Now Bobas is there with the fear. No evil chase onto Maniac. Oh. He's gonna drop two. Meanwhile, on the backside, Shaggy Shank is fighting against Zeros as well as he dunks down with the across the sky. Shaggy Shank is gonna go ahead and start this Gold Fury, and they're gonna dare Badger to try to initiate into this. Uh, ultimates are not available. Reels and Badger, the only two with ultimates on the board right now. Just keep an eye on those diamonds on the left side of the screen. This is gonna beat Badger up. So that's what they want to do. Beat him up and force him out. That's what variety is going to be there for now. Going into my parlor, says the spider to the Loki, but the Loki is the spider, oh, really. Badger. And Badger's in trouble. The hog is actually used there. I think it's a fist of the There's gods, actually, trying to stun him out. Badger's still alive, but meanwhile, Gold Fury's gone down, and now the aggression continues. And Variety's going to make it out of this one alive as well. Zero's trying to go in on a Shaggy Shank, but Shaggy Shank should be able to turn a bird. Reels does rotate into this fight now. Just Box pick up Ninja on the backside. Captain Twig now finding Shaggy Shank, and it could be that there's been too much here for Coast. They could be in a lot of trouble now as uh, Carino's going to try to bail. Carino needs to just keep running away. Tamar needs to give this one up. Put the shield down. Use the knock up if you can. But don't die as well. I mean, they lost three kills for that one overall. But, but they did get the goal fury. And if you look at the golden experience, they're still in a good position. Still in the lead right yeah. now. That's right. And now left hand camp's going to spawn in the middle. Relax going to go over to Coast Gaming. Right one's due to spawn any moment now. And we'll see what rotations come. Carino took a lot of damage there. Bobas looking to go aggressive against three members. That's a cataclysm. But the ages from Captain Twig's going to buy him so much time. Crushing wave across the back. Not going to find anyone. Variety used the assassinate at the same time, so it didn't do anything. But Variety still finds Twig, and there's a big waxy moon. Yeah, a lot of trouble now. Shaggy Shank coming, crashing in. Do they have enough damage to secure anything else? No, Boar coming out. Shaggy's going to beat it away. Maniac does find a kill on a Ninja Bobat. Now oh, this Variety. is SK. He's continuing in. Maniac in the back lines. Princess Tomato in a lot of trouble. Can they get down the Stone Shield in time? Zero's force out of this fight. The now Shaggy Shank's the one to die with the taunt. Triple kill for the Chong on Maniac. That's Tower as well. They're going to be able to push down Super middle. aggressive height of the Urchin on top of his cooldown boots. So uh, maybe taking you... Uh, to oh, oh real going to solo it out. Shaggy That's Shank. big. That's big for him to be able to get a solo kill against a Hunter. That's yeah, they're going to shove this tower in, and maybe now it's going to be SK's turn to take a look at the Gold Fury themselves. They can take it down quite quickly with the Such Artemis. Good time. Uh, do they have any penetration on here yet? No, not just yet. Even the boot's not done, but so it's not going to be very fast, but they should be able to control the area for long enough with zeros. Yeah, now Tomato's going to try and make a big play here. Has to use the shield and roll out. That's going to be a free goal for you for SK Gaming now. He may go down oh, here. He looks like uh -oh. he's going to. Cataclysm Force, and Zero's going to find the kill, but meanwhile, Bobat's going in, still trying to go aggressive, not going to find anything else. Goal Fury to SK Gaming, and now the ball is in their court. I mean, that that timing of that solo kill, Hunter versus Hunter, to get a kill just as the Gold Fury spawns was huge Variety for SK Gaming. In. Crashing into Shaggy Shank as well. They've taken out Captain Twig, a lot of the damage out of this fight. Reels is going to have Athena coming in on top of him. Shaggy Shank eats that damage, is trying to stay into position. Now going back in onto Reels. Fist of the Gods comes out for Variety to find that kill. Ultimate already used, not going to be able to close the distance. Too well on the Badger without a block from the decoy. Not going to find it, but will find the aim strike, Good and time. down will go Badger. Try to take that tier one a little bit overextending, playing beyond their means. And he knows something might be up here. Just warded. Is he going to have a ward to see this one going on? I'm not sure. Well, Maniac and Zero's going to do big work here on Carino. Carino going to get dropped down before they can do anything. Fair no evil. Ned gets popped. Zero's trying to juke away using the shield to prevent it. Maniac, low on mana being aggressed on next as well. Dances to the death of as much as he can, but Variety Princess takes Mano him out. Tomato's to still keep tanking him. He's taking so much damage with the fire giant. He has to disengage as the team comes in. Uh, but he's going to have to this make his close. way back in after. The rest this of the damage close. comes through, which should be pretty they, easy for them. Can, can Athena make her way in? Oh, no. This it's is so close. close. Coast is going to get it, but can there be the re-engagement from roll SK ups. Gaming? Trying to roll out. Variety is going to make his way out, and it looks like Big Coast play. is going to get that for free. Big. Right now, with Coast having this fire giant, the ball is in their court, so to speak, to put the aggression oh, back on. Oh, blink in. Got to look for it. He's going to try and find the cataclysm if he can at the right opportunity. Badger uses the taunt preemptively, but on the backside here comes Reels, but he's surrounded. He's got to watch his position in here. Oh, uh, Shell's coming out now, and the protection zap from Carino is going to try to chase him down, oh, and it looks like they're going to turn their attention to Ninja Bobat, who's actually going to try to leap out, but is going to get killed out by Maniac. Maniac doing a lot of damage in this fight. Oh, my Captain goodness. Twig going to rally with the Artemis, or sorry, the Athena on his back, but Reels chewing through everybody. Now it's Zero's in a lot of trouble juking, but it's just not going to be enough. Shaggy Shank does find the kill. Is it going to be yet another 4v1? I don't know. I mean, at the moment, it looks like he's going to be a 4v, sorry, 3v1 at the Phoenix. moment. But it looks yeah. like the turnaround from SK Gaming. If this Phoenix goes down, this is huge. Apollo is ulting, question mark. Oh, he's going to go to the left side lane. I think. No? What? I don't know. What? Shaggy, please. Shaggy? Shaggy? Well, aggression from Badger going to come out. Taunt onto Carino. Yeah, a lot of damage in. in. He's going to crash in, but Maniac takes out Carino. Badger backs away from the tower. Now Maniac's tanking it up. He's going to be able to sustain for a while and take a few more shots. But the tower, sorry, the Phoenix in middle does go down now. And SK Gaming managed to pick up four members once again of Coast Gaming and a Phoenix. Four for one. Princess Tomato does not have that blink available. It is still only rank one. They're going to knock up Reels, but Reels trying to stand his ground. Bobat's going to use the Fear No Evil
overstayed his welcome. Gonna use the reign of arrows, trying to keep himself alive as much as possible. He's gonna go down still oh, eventually. He's just getting healed no. up from Maniac for the most part. Reels finally sacrifices himself, and now what left hand side? Apollo split pushing away as much as possible right now, trying to push down some towers. Might get this tier one though, because everyone's still grouped here from SK Gaming. They're waiting for an opportunity to start this fire giant off, it seems, or just find a pick. Meanwhile, though, the longer they leave it, the more towers Shaggy could possibly get here. Yeah, it looks like Shaggy knows he's going to take to the skies now, and they're going to look to fight this. Yeah, and Gresham going in from Princess Tamari. He uses the blink, looking for it. Meanwhile, Zero's looking to take out Carino. The burst damage is onto Zero's, though, but the Assassinate gets blocked by most of it from the shield. Here comes Shaggy Shang, though, but into a waxy moon he comes. And now you're going to see Ninja Boba run for his life back to his tower. Wet papers down the speed boss reel. Spout connects. And there's another three for Zero pick this time, with the Phoenix being down in mid lane. What's the call? Are they going to end? Are they going to look to end? It looks like this game is going to be very, very tight. SK is actually going to go for the juggler here. It looks like they want to find a win, boys. Um, they're going for it. They're going to try and go aggressive. You see Badger tanking it up, taking the aggro from the Titan. And it looks like they may actually be able to take this one down. Variety's dropping down right now. Princess Tomorrow's just going to stand there and watch. Look at the celebrations on your screen now, boys. Because SK Gaming have come into this as underdogs, underfavorite for most of the teams. They've taken this one away, but... Man, that was hype. I mean, uh... The two underdogs coming together, uh, playing to five games, just played their hearts out. I want to thank definitely all the teams um, that have worked to get to this point. Awesome game. Congratulations to SK Gaming, an organization founded in Germany here originally with a long storied esports history. So uh, props to them and also to the runners up. I mean, Team Coast just played awesome.